Uh, statement <laughs> coming out of your stupid <laughs> smug <laughs> mouth. What was that? Sorry, what? What? Say again, what? Nothing to worry about it. Nothing to worry about it, yeah. Didn't think so. No, 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 the showing is going right ahead. You can die again. You can die again, Tuggy. You can die again. <laughs> Fuck off. Tuggy. Tuggy. <laughs> this isn't gym related, but since you want success, well, let me tell you a secret. You can feel success instantly. Maybe it's time you grab success by its throat. I think they quite enjoyed Silent Hill. Ah! I need a moment. Ow! I need to turn down the monsters to do a little bit too. Ow! No! God damn it, I'm gonna finish last. <laughs> I'm literally this one person behind me. This is terrible. <laughs> okay, I just wanna test something real quick. Is someone there? <laughs> I just needed to check since I had the interaction to sit on the bench. I couldn't resist. It wasn't possible for me to resist, okay? It was an experiment that needed to be done. She looks so much better now. Damn. My mother died! Good. How the fuck do I get down? Oh, God. How far am I? So, I would work the full week, and I worked all the way through Friday. But I didn't have much food in the house, but I did have some really delicious buffalo chicken soup. Yeah. And are you Yes. Okay. So, um, I didn't have anything to eat at all. And then I remembered, oh, I have tortilla chips. This will be good. But the tortilla chips were all way too small. Right? Mm-hmm. So I heated up the buffalo chicken dip, and I dumped all the tortillas. Yeah. Into, into the buffalo dip, and I ate it like a soup. See, that's not the worst thing you could have said. Really? Is buffalo soup better than peanut butter? Yeah, much better. Hey, cuddle him, but he's sleeping. I don't want to wake him up. Omni, have a great night's sleep. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. He's so fatty, I'm gonna die! Look at his little dream twitches. Look at his eyes. His eyes goes crazy when he sleeps. Okay, so I'm just gonna restart my PC and uh, it won't affect the stream. So that's good. Cool. It is cool. <laughs> couch feels too close to the bathroom. What do you mean? You can stretch out from the couch and touch the bathroom door. What do you mean too close? It means that if you're having a movie night, you don't miss much of the movie. If you have to go to the bathroom. What if it smells bad? You're just gonna have to deal with it. That's why I wanted the fan! Good. Yep. Then Lily can okay. get a scanner. And scan Twiggy or God's Yeah, I already fair. have a scanner. Scan yeah. me! Then you can scan both of them. Or scan me, I guess. Scan me. Scan me. Don't mind. Scan me, Lily. <laughs> scan me! <laughs> I uh, crave your scan! <laughs> it's the most authoritative I've ever heard from in my whole life. She threw it okay. Thank you. Uh, is that God, look how much money he has. What? Almost two gold! I love you! Oh my god, Tug can never know about this guy. It's a good thing Tug is on Twitch vacation right now. He would not be happy if, I, if he knew that I kept this secret from him. Okay, so we need to go- why is there a gunpowder barrel on the map table? Who- Twiggy! Who put that there? Twiggy! Why? 
Twiggy. <laughs> you can't Just... leave this where Mikey can get it. I told Twiggy not to even put it on the boat. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Hang on. I'm a granite oh, and bananas. <laughs> <laughs> that is literal nightmare fuel. What are you doing? I am singing and playing the soundtrack of Resident <laughs> Evil 8. I'm singing you know, Pomegranate Resident Evil 8. I'm singing I'm singing Pomegranate Banana. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello everyone. Good evening. Happy Monday. I hope we're all doing well. Hello, hello, hello. I didn't know what to play today, so I thought, hey, here's a game that doesn't require me to pay attention in any way. Um, and yeah, that's why we're doing Euro Truck. Hello, everyone. Hi, where are the bats? I haven't put them up yet. <laughs> I haven't put them up, but I uh, I can't be bothered getting them. Uh, I did get a big pack of um, of sparkly bats today. I'm excited for that crate. I'm probably not gonna do it anytime soon, but you know. Hello! Hi! You love the shirt! You can't see the shirt! There's a wheel in the way. Um but <laughs> Yeah, he just left immediately. <laughs> he just immediately left. Hello, hello everyone. Hello, Sarah, Lanfer, Sandman, South, hello. Hello, Slime, Muffin Blue, Ben, PD, No One. Hello, hi, Toda. Hello, hi, Mikey. Hello, hello, hi, Blackburn. Nothing is wrong with chill. I live for chill. I live for for chill. Everything. Um, Fred Talon. Hello, hi, Roger. Hello, hello, Fenris. Jai. Hello, hi, Rudens. Hello, Tails fan. Hello, Agni. Hello, hello, hello. You're a broken husk of a man. Are you still sick? Hang on. I think the blue is a little bit too intense. I like the the slightly purple a little bit more. Like this is a little bit too intense. This is nice, I think. Hello, Michael. It doesn't seem to be COVID. That's good at least. Poop. That is good. Thank you, Linfer. Thank you. Red goes faster. This is true, actually. Poop. Red, red means fast. Red means fast and red means scary. I'm just, I'm kind of disappointed with the red on this one. Like, this is the, this, this is maximum red. I can turn off the stars. And if I turn off the stars, it's a little bit more red. But I like the stars. <laughs> I do. I like the stars. Um... I'm red, so red is less gooder anyway. Okay, I'm gonna green. I quite like the green. I wish that the orange was like orange, but this is, according to the app, this is the orange. Not even in real life is this orange. <laughs> But that would work really well for like Halloween. I think that for for the month of Halloween, or for however long that lasts, I think that my the light strips are gonna be permanently orange. I think that thank yourself for this by the way. Uh I think that for for Halloween I'll turn the, the light strip to orange. I think that is a good idea. I can show you tails, thank you, that is easier. But I think that... I like this purple. And I quite like the green, the green is nice. I feel like I should reposition it a little bit. Does it do yellow? Um, this is the yellow according to the app. <laughs> no, the main, like, it does, it only has three colors. It has blue, red, and green. And then anything else is just combinations of those, except they doesn't do them very well. The the blue is by far the most intense, as you can see. And then the green is the green is quite nice. And then the red is the red is really underwhelming. You would think that red would be like an easy color to get right on this. I like the purple though. The purple is nice. <sighs> Ooh. 
I wonder if I should reposition a little bit, but then I'd have to like change it and I can't be fucked changing it. Um I figured out why my mic was being much louder than usual. My Windows uh, volume on my mic, on my gaming PC, it's always been around 60%. And it had, in, in the Windows settings, like, completely irrelevant of the mixer, it, it's always been at like 60%, but it had been auto-adjusted up to 100%, which explains why it was so painfully loud. So now we know. Now we know. Hello, Ben. Hello, bees. Hello, hello. You do not need the wheel now. Uh, you can play it with mouse and keyboard, or you can play it with the controller. So yeah, um, I just, I, it's more fun to play with the wheel. I wasn't really interested in playing it until I got a steering wheel. So it sounds better. Good, 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 good. Audio is going to be the fucking death of me, I swear. <laughs> Audio is going to be the death of me, and I hate it, I hate having to deal with it, but that's how it is. Hello dude, hello, hello, and hi Ike, hello, hello, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, playlist. I gotta get the music. Become a silent streamer. Wouldn't that be nice sometimes? Just never talking again. Most days, aside from like the occasional talking to um to Link, during stream is gonna be it's like it's the only time I talk in a day. It is not infrequent for my stream, which starts at nine p.m., to be the first time that I talk in a day. See, here's the thing, Zara. I have an Elgato Capture card as well, and I never have issues with it. <laughs> I don't know how he has this setup, but I've never had issues with my Capture card. <laughs> uh, hello, Naruto. Hello, hello. We started 12 minutes ago, so no. Have I tried meeting more people? I don't want to meet more people. I I don't want to. I haven't set up the the yoga mat because what I did last time is I, I angled the pedals a little bit more uh, because I can't have them that far back because my PCs are in the way. So they're kind of like right underneath my knees when I sit like this. And that's not ideal because then I have to angle my feet like really weird. But if I sit back, like I can sit like this. I'll have to like sit way far back, then it works. Because what I did with the yoga mat is I kind of just like folded it on top of itself and put it like under half of the wheels, uh, pedals, so that it like angled them a little bit better. Yes, went for. I also struggle to like just form words uh, first thing in the morning. Like I know what I want to say, it just the, the words physically don't come out right. I need like an hour or two before I can actually like be genuinely I literally need an hour or two before I can literally talk in the day. Hello Minnie, hello Dvengar, hello, hello. We have a new alert today. Uh 75? 75 bits. I haven't tested it, so <laughs> I set it up in like two minutes, so I don't know. If it's broken, but I did set it up. Looks like poop. Smells like poop. Thank you, no one. Thank you for the bits. Looks like poop. Smells like poop. <laughs> Thank you, Sandman. <laughs> Looks like poop. Smells like poop. Ugh. Thank you, Sal. <laughs> Thank you, Landfer. I should probably make it a little bit louder. I should probably make this tiny bit louder. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you, Lanfer. Thank you, Sandman. I appreciate it. Thank you for the no bits. Poop. No poop. Not, Not a poop, poop cult. cult. Thank you, South. I appreciate it. You thought one thing said very different words. It's so weird. It's so weird. You have to talk to people the second you want to do it at 5 a.m. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not in bed at 5 a.m. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot this game doesn't- I can't 
used my cursor on the other monitor without all tapping, which is so inconvenient. Hello, Seal. <laughs> Uh, turn off speaking today until you get to work. You're on your own for the first two hours. Yeah, that's fair. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, Google, turn on the radio. Google must think you're stuck in puberty. <sighs> How do you get bits? Um, there should be... In chat, there's a little... tvanger has got you. The triangle thingy. That is the bits icon. Do you make good morning? No, because it's not. Your 5 a.m. is not the same as my 5 a.m., Mikey. This might be difficult to understand, but we are in different time zones. So, when you go into work at 5 a.m., that's 11 a.m. for me. And I'm not awake at 11 a.m. So, uh, yeah. I was gonna do something. I all tapped for a reason. You're still doing it. In that case, I'm gonna start DMing you goodnight whenever I go to bed. We probably go to bed at the same time. You probably go to bed before me. <laughs> you wake up at 6 a.m. every day? I'm so sorry. I'm so... <laughs> Sorry. I got a sponsorship offer today. I just thought about it because Mikey got offered a sponsorship offer for watching Lord of the Rings. Fucking YouTubers getting offered money to watch TV shows. Fucking. Anyway, um, yeah, Mikey's gonna be doing a watch party for the Lord of the Rings show. So you should go watch that. But that made me... <laughs> That reminded me that I got an exciting sponsorship offer today. Are, are you ready? Are, are you ready for what it is? It's... <laughs> it's FIFA 23. I can stream a football game and get paid for it. <laughs> And I think that's so fucking funny. Because I... <laughs> I don't do any sports. Hi, Romeo! Hello, hello! Hi, Ben! <laughs> Hi, Piers! It's so funny to me that they offered me money to play FIFA. <laughs> Sports show! <laughs> I mean, they pay pretty well. They pay pretty well, so, like... I think, genuinely... <laughs> I think it would be pretty funny. I, th <laughs> I think it would be funny. I don't think that a lot of people in my chat are necessarily interested in playing it, but... I might take it. I might accept it. It's It would be at the end of the month. Um... Pay <laughs> FIFA with a steering wheel. <laughs> it would be a um, it would be a two-hour stream. It would be a two-hour stream of I think it was career mode that they wanted me to do. Uh, do you have to buy it? No, I get it for free. Um, <laughs> whenever like sponsorships are always you always get a free key. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Bits do cost money. Yeah, they're that's how I get paid. Sales. Um, it would be incredibly funny. Might legitimately kill Gary and Jojo. Do I know the rules of football? You just you touch the ball with your foot and don't let it get out of bounds, right? And then you try to get the ball in the goal. That's all I know. I have, in my entire life, I have watched one football match. Ever. <laughs> Did you see that ludicrous display last night? <laughs> I'd have to set that up on a fucking hotkey. I'd have to set that up on a hotkey. Holy shit. That's so funny. <laughs> Watch figure well, and I'm sitting up a full-time FIFA streamer. Hello, Tarts! Hello, hello. 
Oh, that's so funny. But yeah, I, I'm glad to see positive responses to that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might, I might accept it. They pay pretty well. Um, and honestly, extra payment every now and then is, is quite nice. And I think we'd have fun. Like, even if it's not the kind of game that I would typically play, I think it would still be fun. Um, like, I, I genuinely think that... It, it would take a really bad game for me to not be able to have fun with chat, you know? Uh... <laughs> Hi, Dave. Hello, hello. Yeah, I've been offered a sponsorship for FIFA 23. <laughs> Since I am the biggest sports person, you know? <laughs> oh my god. What was Wenger thinking saying walking on that early? The thing about Arsenal is they always try to walk it in. Not being able to tell the teams apart. I don't know how to tell the teams apart aside from like their colored shirts. If it's anything like Blitzball, it's gonna be great. You don't think you've ever seen a 100% ball? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm gonna accept it right now. I'm just gonna log on and accept it like right as we speak. <laughs> Before they take it back. <laughs> Sponsorships invited. Show invites. Accept sponsorship. No needless bounce. Yeah, I shouldn't read out all of this. But yes, I have accepted it. Okay, I'll let you all know when that happens. It'll be at the end of the month. Uh, it's between September 30th and October 2nd. So that'll be like the last weekend of the month. This is through Twitch? No, this is through WeHype. Uh, most of my sponsorships are through WeHype. I am very, very grateful, honestly. Uh, they uh, make it an event in Discord, that's a great idea. I'm very grateful, like, they, they've been so great to work with, they're so simple to use, and uh, honestly, their prices are really, really good, so I'm super happy to work with them. One, I stream trucking game. Two, truckers like football? That's true! The shirt is called a jersey. <laughs> I am gonna- it's true, Dave, it's true, Dave. Uh, cost of living is coming up, it is, is, like, increasing all over the world, and, um... That includes Norway. Our electricity prices are going up so much. So if I can get paid by big cor corporations rather than you guys, hell yeah. Hell yeah, I'll take that. I do love FIFA games. Here's the thing though. I don't give a fuck about football, right? But I love management games. I love, like... <laughs> I love management games and, like... When I when I was a kid and back in my day when all the games that I played were free flash games online. Hello. I would always look for like ben. tycoon games. I just I love that stuff. Chuck me back driving my make believe truck, <laughs> not bothering with my fancy driving rig though. <laughs> Chuck, thank you for the four months. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That is really, really, really kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you think I can manage to get a pearls back? <laughs> what did you have in mind, Lanfer? What? <laughs> it depends what you want to send. How about that? Conditionally, maybe. <laughs> I'll make it an event in Discord. Yeah, I'll do that. Holy shit. I... We'll deck you out a full football package. Oh god. I would look like a child at Halloween. I'd, <laughs> I'd look like a child for Halloween, Lanfer. <laughs> so fucking funny. Chuck, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Not bother with your fancy driving. That's very understandable. That's very fair. Uh, I just have this, like, I, I haven't moved the pedals since the last time that I played it. Um, and the wheel, you just, it's very easy to assemble, so 
It's been very quick to set up, um, fortunately. A <laughs> Rexham football outfit. I have to tell Joey. I have to. <laughs> okay, I have accepted. I I've told Joey. Um. <laughs> I do like horror games, yes. The sports ball tea. <laughs> Try playing with a steering wheel. I don't know how that would work. I have no idea how that would work. Oh my god. You have a shifter with an actual truck driving head on it. Holy shit! Really? Yeah, that seems like a lot more effort than just this. Because this is just... The pedals are just there on the floor. Hang on. The cables are... The cables are underneath the wheel itself. I hate that. I have streamed Five Nights at Freddy's. I have no intention of playing it again. It can take shifter. Yeah, like the, the pedals have... They have a clutch. So I could set that up. Which would probably be helpful for me learning how to... How to use the shifter. <laughs> it would probably be helpful. Because that was the one thing that I really struggled with when I was learning how to drive. Was you like if I if I took driving lessons with an automatic, I probably would have had my license. Boom <sighs> boom but yeah, that, that will be at the end of the month. We'll do FIFA. <laughs> I think it'll be fun. <laughs> I think it'll be fun. Uh, trucks have a splitter and range too. I don't know what that means. I don't think the street was up anymore. That was like four years ago, Tails. Or like three years of full electric. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think I saw a statistic that about 50% of um, of people who get their license now get it on an automatic. Um, like literally 50% of all new licenses that are that are given in Norway right now are automatic, and that has gone like drastically up in the last couple of years. Um, most cars just. Most cars are automatic these days. My dad refuses to drive an automatic. <laughs> and he sometimes struggles to find one. Um, automatics today are way better than the first generation automatics. I believe this. A lot of new cars are only automatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, the reason I'm considering... Uh, the reason I'm considering getting a license on an automatic is just because it would obviously be a lot easier and also How often am I realistically gonna have to drive a manual? I'm 27 and I've never had to drive a car <laughs> So like Realistically speaking, I'm probably fine. Hello monkey. Hello. Hello. You probably should have taken a car. Yeah, probably you have a go pedal and stop pedal, that's all you need. It's so... it's so easy. It's so easy. It's like, now, I... I have two months left, okay? I have two months left of my mid-20s. Let me have it. <laughs> let, me, let me have it. <laughs> what if a Fast and Furious moment presents itself? Then I will sit at home. <laughs> I love the Hollow Knight soundtrack so much. It's so good. You only have a motorbike license. Nice. Hello, Finnan. Hello, hello. You can't get a full license without using a manual. No, so that's the same in Norway. Uh, you can get your license on an automatic, but then you're not allowed to drive a manual. If you get your manual license, then you can obviously drive it automatic. But you, like, if you, if you only, like, uh, you, <laughs> words. If you get your license on an automatic then you are limited to only driving automatics. 
Can we go to play Victoria 3 when it launches? Dave, I have two good friends who are so obsessed with Paradox games. I will probably not have a choice. <laughs> hello, Malik. Hello, hello. Is it worth it? If you play games like this, uh, if you like playing driving games, then yeah. They are, um, it makes it a lot more fun to play. I didn't really want to play Euro Truck Simulator ever. Um, until I got this and yeah. They're such Paradox fanboys, honestly. Like they go to, did you know that Paradox has a Paradox convention? They go to it every year. Anyway, I'm gonna launch the game now. Oh yeah, I changed. Oh, but I can't change my cam unless I alt tab. <sighs> the sweatiest convention. I let's put it this way. I wouldn't want to go there. That's just um figuratively. Yeah, definitely only figuratively. Definitely figuratively only. I do, PD. I know someone who works there. We actually have a community member who works there. Okay. Job market. Quick job. I don't have my own truck yet. We'll work on that at some point. Should we go to France? I kind of want to go to France. France is pretty. What is the longest drive that we can do? I don't know. This would take us through many countries. That's fun. Should we go to England? Have we been to England yet? I genuinely don't know if we have. Should we, should we go to London? Yeah, let's go to London. I have been to London once when I was 16, I think. Hello, Squig! Hello, hello. I went to London once when I was 16 to visit- Ow! I visited, um, my sister who did not live in London. She lived in, um, she lived in, hang on. She lived in Ireland, but we took a a weekend in London first. Then we went to Ireland and spent like four days there, which was nice. I just want to make sure that you guys can see like... Here's the issue. I cannot put my cursor to the other monitor without alt-tabbing. It's very inconvenient, but if I do that, then you should be able to see the whole of the all. No, 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 uh, Romeo, we were, we were just one or two nights in London, and then the rest we were in Ireland. It's true. We rented a car? We rented a car, and... We, um... We spent, uh, almost a week just driving around, uh, in Ireland, with southwest coast, and just staying at various bed uh, b and It was really nice. It's fine. Technically not my fault. Hello, Will's friend. Hello, hello. I do not have my own truck yet. So this is just a rental truck. I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> I am very new to this game, so I have no idea, I'm afraid. You said English, la in English language and literature. That's awesome. That's awesome. Is there traffic? Uh... <laughs> Yes. I do not know what truck model I am going to buy. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really have that much interest in trucks. Is that how you to say when you're streaming this game? 
<laughs> is that- am I allowed to say that? I'm not a car person. Am I- <laughs> is that legal for me to say? I stopped at the traffic light. What do you mean? I totally stopped. I totally stopped. Hello, Ost. Hello, hello. Alright, we're on the road again. This is the nicest truck in the game. I'm sure it is. I need something French made. I don't know what that means. Is it quiet, by the way? Because I... <laughs> Oh fuck, I'm supposed to be here. I can't see my other mirror that well. There you go. Uh, I did have to change the way that I do my audio a little bit, and I haven't bothered changing it back because I can't be f fucked. So if it's quiet, let me know. It should be a little bit quieter than before, but I don't know if that's bad or good. I don't know. But yeah, my goal will be to buy my own truck today. That will be my goal. I'm going to get my own truck. And then I can paint it because I was very generously gifted a DLC with specific paint jobs for my truck. So that is a thing that we can do. You'll see what I mean once we get our own truck. Norwegian ones. You'll see what I mean <laughs> when we get our own truck. I think we're gonna have to take up a loan. But the problem is everything else becomes so much more expensive. Wait, what was the setting? Um, How do I delete the max speed? Wasn't that a thing? This is not it. Is the game playing controls? Uh. What was that? <laughs> no, um, seal gameplay. Scroll down to once. <laughs> Oh, I'm making just yeah, 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 you're right. Cutscenes or cutscenes? Truck speed limiter, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> this seems like a good idea. <laughs> See, now we can go faster than 90. This doesn't seem like a mistake. Uh oh. Uh, it's game. It's in the game, Blackburn, so it's fine. <laughs> what we want you saying? Uh, this is a Logitech G29? No more Donchi websites, indeed. How long before the first flip? I'm not gonna flip today. Don't be ridiculous. We're not gonna flip today. I'm not gonna flip. I am an excellent driver. You just wait and see. I'm a high tangent. I don't have a trucker hat. No, Seal. Sorry. I read and didn't respond. I do that. Sorry. Thank you, Will. Thank you for believing in me. Can I just... I don't know what this means. You're trying to go Oh, that's what that means. I thought that was he just being quiet. Nice fees. I haven't played it. It's 
it's fine. It was just a scratch, just a nudge. Okay, could you not do that? Really, Rudens? Oh no. Wait, I'm supposed to be here, I think. Okay, this is getting very fast. Uh oh. Are you insinuating that I'll crash in 15 minutes? I don't think that that's true. Or flip. I don't think that I will, you see. I think that last time we played this, I got so much practice, and I think that I've gotten so good at this game now. That I think we will be fine. I'm exploring Mario Kart level. Am I allowed to say that I find Mario Kart really boring? Am I allowed to say that? Like, I paid a lot of money for Mario Kart 8. It's really boring. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Mario Kart DS. Ooh. I never played it for the DS. The Mario Kart for the Switch is the first Mario Kart I've ever owned. No, this is not from the game. Um, I have my own playlist on that I know that uh, I can safely stream without worrying about like DMCA strikes. It's the interaction with your friends. Yeah, like that's the only reason I I play it. I play it very rarely, to be fair, but the only reason I very occasionally play Mario Kart is to play with people. I just think that the game itself is kind of boring. It's kind of how I feel about Phasmo these days, too. I think that Phasmo is really boring now because I know the game so well. I'm not saying that I'm necessarily great at it, but like, there isn't much mystery in it anymore, and back when Phasmo was new, and we didn't know what the fuck was going on or like how anything worked. I just thought the game was a lot more fun. But now that we know all that. They posted a new roadmap today, by the way. Um, yeah, it always seemed nothing of fun. I saw. I'm excited for new locations. I hope that they're arguably not my fault. <sighs> It's not my fault that there was a space for me. There literally wasn't space for me, and that's not my fault. That wasn't a flip, no! That was not a flip. Not at all. So anyone who was hoping that I'd flip in the next 15 minutes, you're mistaken. I can't believe the concrete bear. I know, it's so messed up. So messed up. I didn't flip, so we're fine. We're fine. Uh, maybe, Rudens? Maybe. Still time for a flip. Do you have that little faith in me? Engine malfunction. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Just drive it until we can't. Drive it like you're running. <laughs> okay, so question. Will there be like service stations randomly along the way? Or is that one of those things I have to actively call service for? I'm not sure. Hi, Malin. Hello, hello. Because I've had to call service a couple of times and be towed. But I don't know if that is like a, this is what you have to do, or if that is just if you can't go any further. Mm 
Hello, Ben. Romeo! Road users are in for bad luck. Twiggy is that driving truck. She'll eat that glory, then try to say sorry, but really she won't give a damn. Uh, Bonus trucker poop. Ay, ay, ay. Romeo, thank you for the 30 months. I really appreciate that. That is very kind. That's a long time. And I'm very grateful. Thank you. <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, Carl. What the fuck do you mean? What the fuck? Fuck, do you mean? When you first time playing League, you had so much fun trying out against no different champions. Way more fun than after you got- Yeah, right, dude? That's how I feel about almost every game. <laughs> I enjoy the learning period of a game. Of course I enjoy being good at games too, but... The learning period of a new game? So much fun. So much fun. Almost as many as years you will be. I am being bullied? I need to figure out what to do for my birthday. These are not good engine noises. <laughs> um, yeah, I need to figure out what to do. Chocolate cake. Hmm. Last year I made cheesecake for my birthday. I can do that this year too, but... Make him towards the stream. This is not a repair station coming up. Hi, uh, Cannibal. Hello, hello. I need more Halloween themes. I got a lot of Halloween decorations today. Waiting for a couple more, so... I'm gonna wait until they all get here, so I can do like all of the decorations at once. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait until everything I've ordered gets here. I I'm gonna be saying like two things, I think. Yeah. Uh, and then once that gets here, I will decorate all of them overnight. That's my plan. It's not a couch skeleton. I did order a skeleton, but it's not that large. You crashed into me! That's fucked up, dude. <laughs> also, I have nothing to do with that. Whatever the fuck that was. <laughs> he crashed into me, okay? Mikey, you should! You definitely should. You have a twiggy size skeleton. Romeo, what is the size of your twiggy size skeleton? Mikey, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I learned a trick about pop time the other day. I I learned a trick. About three feet. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh I think, I could be wrong about this, but I think if you do the word, but, uh oh, uh, but with an at in front of it, you think it only posts animated emotes. So if you do like at pop time or at doggo or whatever. I think it does animated emotes. Also, someone the other day offline followed me and then gifted three months sub to pop time. <laughs> Which I found really funny. <laughs> no, see, it works, it works. You just, there are not that many animated body emotes, I suppose. Yeah, someone just like offline followed. So first time, like first time here, then gifted three months of subscription to Pop Time, <laughs> which I'm very grateful for. Pop Time has been subbed here before. 
Oh, see, hug time! We're in the hug time! Aww. There's an actual person behind hug time, you see. Oh yeah, Carl, we have a new alert! Uh, for 75 bits? You might like it. Looks like poop. Smells like poop. Yes. Thank you, Sarah. Wait, this is- <laughs> Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Am I supposed to go here? What am I supposed to do? I don't know. I thought that I'm supposed to be here, but this doesn't look right. Next one, okay. See, it didn't make that very clear. Half time was your friend on Twitch? Really? Come on. <sighs> this is appropriate music for this. Oh. Okay. I don't understand what it is we're doing right now. Like, is this where I'm delivering it? Or is this like... No, because we're going to... England! Here we go. Do we just... Have we made it? Are we here now? How do I leave? <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> Fuck me! I have to like back out of here. Okay. This is pre or post Brexit. We don't know. Can't leave until I've had black pudding. I've never had black pudding. This is not the right way. I have to turn around. I've never had black pudding. What happened to the engine? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You don't want it. Now, I'm very picky when it comes to food. I think you're probably right in that. <laughs> I can add Monkus there. I don't mind adding that. I don't suppose mods can add things for me. Do you have better Twitch TV? <coughs> I don't know how that works. Would I have to add them, like, as editors on Better Twist TV? Mikey, go have a nap. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you sleep well. Oh, motherfucker. I do remember how to drive and- Hang on, I have to be on the left side, I- Peter? To drive to left. Yeah, thank you. pre approve the mods, okay. It would probably be a terrible idea to approve Carl to that. I think. I think that would be a really bad idea. I hate it. I hate it. Hey, Josh! Thank you so much for the raid! I really appreciate that! How was it, man? Are you enjoying it? It's such a good fucking game, isn't it? I hope you had fun. Thank you for the raid! I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
we're playing your truck sim because I didn't know what to play today. So I decided I'll go for the one game that I have that doesn't really have any gameplay. Because then I can just sit here and I can just talk and upset people. How's that? Holy... <laughs> Stop. It's <laughs> holding it normally. Super fun and frustrating. I'm sorry, it was frustrating. Was it difficult? It is a really good game. Why is the speed limit 97? I hate it. That's more upsetting than driving on the left side. Wait, we're going to London. I am very good at upsetting people, it's true. Wait, no. Sorry. Wait, no! The GPS is saying this way! But this didn't say London, did it? Isn't 60 miles 100 kilometers? Or is it just that is the closest, so... Oh, London. There we go. Because they always say... not to 60 when we say 0 to 100. Please say the exact same fact sentences when you play FIFA. <laughs> They're gonna regret sponsoring me. Oh my god. Ah, uh, you're gonna do Hitman too soon. You only have a free version. That's uh, only one version. Ah, I see. Ah, uh, it's on Game Pass. Josh? Ah, uh, Hitman 1, 2, and 3 are all on Game Pass. And you get all the missions. So, if you have Game Pass, that's always an option, at least. I played Hitman 3 through Game Pass. It's a lot cheaper than getting all the, uh, all the games, at least. <laughs> One to show big cities, let another show close to, yeah. I mean, it's the same in, in Norway, for the most part. I wish just two of them said London, and they were different places. <laughs> This is not wide enough! <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. What do you see a sign that looks like tea? Because you must drink a pill over and drink tea. <laughs> I actually have tea. A full Norwegian flag face painting stream? Oh man. That's a really good idea. Ah oh, fuck, I hate I hate how good of an idea that is. I, I will go all in. Guys, for those who missed it, at the end of the month we're doing a FIFA 23! sponsored stream and I have decided to take it and go all in as the sports person that I am <laughs> as the sports person that I am we're gonna do a FIFA 23 stream and they're paying me for it <laughs> Are there any nor- I don't know! <laughs> no! Jive! You guys can't mock me for my legs and then also mock me for my hands! Let's <laughs> fuck that. I think we can get- Okay, guys, I think that we can get to the location without our engine breaking down and without having to refuel. I believe in us. I believe in us. We vastly underestimate our mocking <laughs> capabilities. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I 
Now, I, I don't know how it's gonna go, but I think that it'll be a really fun stream. Put it this way, it's not a game that I would ever, like, play on my own, I don't think. Despite the fact that I love management games. I always have, I always love management games. I've never played FIFA. There we go. <laughs> We're fine. We're fine. 45 minutes to go. Oh, I forgot we have to park. I forgot parking is a part of this game too. Ah, oh, shit. See, that might be a bigger problem than physically getting to the location. I have to park with this truck. <laughs> we'll just try to get there as fast as we can. Not sure you can set the AI to negative difficulty. <laughs> what do you mean? Now I'll be fine. What if I just surprise you all and I'm just really good at FIFA? That would be funny, wouldn't it? A Flintstones driving option. I don't know what that means. Am I supposed to know what that means? Thirty. Oh, it's thirty miles. You shove your legs through the floor and use them to propel the vehicles. Ah! See, the Flintstones are a little bit before my time. I'm not that old. They are eternal. Just like you! Before the measurement of time started. Stone Age. Is that why you like it so much? It makes you feel like your childhood. Joey, you are objectively speaking older than me. <laughs> you are quite literally older than me, so I don't know what you're trying to go with that. No, I'll, ad I'll admit being in my late 20s when I hit 28. Come on. Come on, little buddy. <laughs> you can do it. I told him in DM, Sarah. I made sure he knew. Headlights! It's the middle of the day! My headlights are physically not working. <laughs> my, <laughs> my headlights are not working, so I don't know what you want from me. Da, 
Bam, bam, bam. Hello, Mr. Max. Hello, hello. Yeah, but... Oh, they are. It's just too dark. It's too uh, bright to see them. Because they... You can also set them with the button... One on the D-pad button, so that's what I've been doing. Okay, I know I'm in the wrong lane, but... Oh, motherfucker. I have my blinkers on. You can't see it, but this guy was trying to get in my way. And I denied him that. <laughs> Oh no, left-sided roundabout? I don't know if I can do that. It's fine. <laughs> Wait, where are we going? Can I have my GPS? We're at the location. Now, we just need to do the reversing. <laughs> this looks easy. This one should be doable. Hello, Valentine. Hello, Peter. I will not have any judgments from people about how this is a very easy one. I'm still gonna take a couple of tries. I will not accept that. I'm using break for reverse, yeah. <laughs> this is very dramatic. <laughs> Come on, let me unload. Fucking perfect! Did it just stop at the suit I got the XP? I want the more long distance, to be honest. Okay. How do I get a loan? Bank. The bank button. See, people told me I should take a loan to buy my own truck. Ow. Should I just get the 100k loan? It's not worth it. I'm just gonna take the 100k loan. Okay, and then... Truck dealers. <laughs> Completing it is really not damage. That's easy. That's easy. I... have not a single clue... what the different trucks mean. Volvo is the best. Isn't that subjective? Isn't the whole point of this that it's subjective? People have their favorite trucks and then that's it? Volvo is the strongest, so it is objectively the better. Okay. I can afford this one. I can afford both of them. What's the difference? What's the difference between them? They are the same! The classic or the non pla They are the same! They're the same- I cannot get any of these. That makes it more expensive. 
That's a better engine now. Oh, yeah, standard. <laughs> I found Mecca's. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's 20,000! <laughs> Guys, it's 20,000. I can't afford that. It's- I can't afford it. It's 20,000! We'll get that later. Do I use search? I don't know. I don't think so. I have no idea. Do I? Accessories. I have no money! Purchase. Where to deliver? I don't fucking know. Sure. To Zurich. How do I get there? <laughs> <laughs> How do I get there, though? <laughs> do I now have to, like, take a mission that takes me to, uh, Zurich? Hang on. Your train is gonna be sorted, you're gonna get around it, they're gonna use your driver... Blah, blah, blah. I'm driving it already, so it doesn't matter, that's just, like, flavor text. So if I now do a mission... Do I just drive my truck? These are different trucks! Not quick job. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh. Okay. Well, highest paid one, please. Let's do this then. Do I already, like, have it on me? Or do I have to, like, actually find it? Fuck. Okay. But where is it? <laughs> where is it gonna be? Oh, that's what's been on my on the map. Okay. Wait! What? Whoa, what is my view? What is the change view button? There we go. Okay. Stop. Yeah, so now, like, the job that I can do is limited to where I am, unless I do quick jobs. Like, I can still do quick jobs, right? I imagine I can still do quick jobs. Stop with the fucking- No! Okay, it does this, and that's really annoying. The D-pad? It almost always does two inputs. Because the- opening the menu- uh, opening that is actually the- Top button? Yeah, that's a up button. I press the right button. I press the right button again, and that's normally like opening the map is down. So one thing that I'm really unhappy with with this wheel is that the D-pad is useless. Boom, boom, boom. Hello, peers. Hello, hello. You do need to be a friend to gift on Steam, yeah. Uh oh. We can be Steam friends, uh, so you will not to like gift me things, but I don't mind adding people on Steam. You 
job offer. Freight market. Yeah, let's do this one. Why is this one 23 hours and this one is 3 hours? I don't know, we'll do this one though. Oh no! No, this is fine because I don't have the cargo on me right now. Oh, tons, not hours ago. I see. We go with on. Off we go. Cursed. I am unfortunately cursed with paddles. I mean, I still have one, uh, one leg on the. Ch that, was, that was your fault. That was your fault. I'm sorry. But you knew that I was. Oh, you, there's no space for you. Are you fucking kidding? You are insane! You have a first drop. Uh, could you DM it to me? I, I really don't want to, like, alt up the game. Because I can't use my cursor on the other monitor when I play this without alt tabbing, and I, I really don't want to just alt tab all the time. So, could you DM it to me, please? I hate it so much. Thank you. It's horrible and I hate it. Uh, I'm not really at the point yet where I can edit trailers, you know, or where it's reasonable for me to do it. <laughs> But I will do that later. Oh my god. I'm doing great. See, now it's important that I don't crash into things, because I have to pay for it if I do. And that is an issue. So I'm just gonna have to hope that no one crashes into me. Is there a way the one to truck speed to recover speed limit? I don't know. I actually, I don't know. I think that if they don't crash into me, then we're generally fine. Oh my god, we're so slow. Our acceleration is so slow. Something something mass. Speed. I don't know, I'm not an engineer. raining. See, I press right because right on my d-pad is the uh, windscreen wipers. That's the most annoying thing about this wheel. I know I can rebind it, but shouldn't have to. Yeah. No, one button doesn't do more than one thing. It's just I'm pressing the right button on the D-pad and it inputs the top button in addition. 
Because the D-pad is just poorly designed. The entire, like, surface of the D-pad is just one piece of plastic, so it very easily just, like, does double inputs. <laughs> We're fine! Come on! Come on! <laughs> oh, it's trying its best. It's really trying its best. I hate the weather so much. Hate it. Hello, Memento! Can it be from W? Yeah, I've heard this. I have heard that this is the case. That sounds very convenient. It is just one lane. There's no turn. It's very atmospheric, though. If you're the kind of, of insane person that enjoys driving in the rain, then I can understand liking this. I get it. You said only up or down, yeah, or left or right. I get that. I might have to do the same because the the fact that it like when it changes my entire camera view, that's not really great when you're doing that while you're driving. Yeah, there's been a fair few people playing this in Discord lately. I might set up uh, gaming roles in Discord for like um, if people want to get together and play various games. If that's pe something people are interested in. So we could have like a, a truck driver role, for example. So people can ping that if they want to play. Hello, Jedi. Hello, hello. Can we drive faster now? Yes, we can. Thank God. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm supposed to be here. All right, we should be fine now. This is very illegal. No, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. We're on the normal road now. Oh. See? They didn't give a fuck about me. We're fine. We are fine. Don't check your inbox. <laughs> Do I actually get fined for that? Oh, we're all right. Now I know, Conwa, that's why I'm driving carefully. I'm driving quite carefully, I'll have you know. Everything is fine. Do we need gas? No, but we could use sleep at some point. Okay, tell you what, we'll stop at the next sleeping point. 
the next time we pass by a sleeping spot, we'll stop and sleep for a little bit because it is getting late and it's dark and the weather is poor and that does make you sleepy. Yeah, if people are interested in like game roles in Discord, I would be happy to set that up. I know we don't have like a big culture in my Discord for like playing a lot of multiplayer games and stuff, but maybe that will make it easier. Because I see people manage to like organize games regardless of that. Which is nice. Before we get fined for not sleeping. Really? I think we're fine for now. So else's game genres. That's what I was thinking. So we could do like trucking games. Uh, do like ghost hunting games. Stuff like that. Hello Chip. Hello, hello. It would mean that it would be less like maintenance uh, or less work for me to like maintain new roles as well. Scary games, yeah. You're the urge to play yourself a wheel. Honestly, I very much got the appeal for games like this to just like chill. Like I can understand this being very therapeutic after a long day, you know? But yeah, look! He's yawning. It's a good thing we're at the sleeping spot. Your wall says now. I kept track for a while to see if a wheel would go on sale. I kept track for a long time, so I only just bought this because it was half off. The only reason I bought it. <sighs> you bought a wheel for Snowrunner, you developed an interest in cars and F1. I'm so sorry, Hafu. I am so sorry to hear that. Shade. Hello, hello. You had a gift card and discount in store. Nice. Yeah, that's a good price. Um, you want comfy driving? Yeah. You'd be bored of it in a few hours. That's why. Yeah, that's why I'm saying like get it out of sale if you're gonna buy a wheel. See if you can get it like secondhand. I think that's generally a good idea with these. Because I think a lot of people do that. I think a lot of people buy them and then they get bored and so they sell them. So I'm absolutely sure you can get one second hand. Can be a bit chancy, really. Welcome back, Josh. Assetto Cor- I don't know what that is, Minnie. <laughs> don't know what that is. It's a racing game. Okay. Maybe I'll check it out. It would be nice to have more games to play as well. With this to make it worth the money. Racing in VR with the wheel, I believe that. That sounds like a lot of fun. I don't have VR, so... Like five years before it goes on sale, yeah. A Nurburgring toy? Can you actually drive on that? That's pretty cool. Um. 
Forza 5. Oh yeah, it's on Game Pass. Yeah, maybe. Shit! Okay, that's what- it was just a nudge. I don't think that that counts as a crash, that was just a small nudge. Wasn't entirely my fault. Plus, it only hurt the cargo and not the truck. So it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> the effect on the car driver. <laughs> Isn't really my responsibility now, is it? I don't think it is. Download content manager, custom shapes back. Okay. I will forget about that, Seal. I will absolutely forget about that. Get a reminder, thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, I have to pay for this myself now too, don't I? No longer paid for by my employer. This I don't have an employer! Did I do it? Did I pay? I paid, okay. I'm sure they will seal. I'm sure they will. Yeah, Malin, the one of the reasons why I'm uncomfortable driving is um like I cannot pretty decent control over what I'm doing, but I have no control over what other people are doing. My dad was a delivery driver for a while, and um, I used to be very nervous when he used to do that for a living. I had so much anxiety if I... like if he was at work and I heard a siren, I assumed he had crashed. For years I would have like a huge anxiety spike whenever I heard like a police car or an ambulance. I still do to some degree, not quite as bad. But it used to give me so much anxiety. <coughs> Fuck off. <coughs> Link, ye die. <coughs> I did tell him to fuck off, yes. <coughs> See, when he barks on stream. You guys might go, oh my god, it's Link! That's so cute! He's actually barking! Oh, he's so adorable! What you don't hear is him barking like that every 20 minutes throughout the entire day. So when I hear him bark, I get annoyed. Because I've been listening to him barking for an entire day. You don't do that. You don't you don't have to listen to him all day and I do. <sighs> Your neighbors must love you. Here's the thing. He only barks when my neighbors are making noise in the hallway. So he only barks when they are in the like shared hallway. And I think as an apartment liver I think that that's an acceptable amount of barking for neighbors to have to listen to. Because if they're just indoors and chilling and whatever, he doesn't bark. He's completely quiet. But if they're like leaving and coming back home, that's when he barks. 
And that's when they are like out in the hallway already. And so I think that that is acceptable as a neighbor. I told them that when they moved into, and they were fine with that. A sound file I discovered for the sling barking every 20 minutes. <laughs> yes. Uh, judging from the minutes flying past, the time is better by 20, but the driveway doesn't reflect it. I don't know, Nightjade. I don't know. I don't know. And yes, Memento, driving is completely op uh, optional where I live. I'm 27 and I've never needed to have a car. Anywhere I've ever wanted to go, I can always use public transport or I can walk. I've never, like, the reason I don't have a license is because I've literally never needed to. European cities are not built with, like, needing to have a car in mind. I think that American cities are. Like, I've never lived more than a 10 minute walk from any grocery store, for example. There's at least three buses that pass by my doctor's office. The pet store and like that isn't within walking distance. It's easier to move without a car. Honestly, it kind of is. I don't have to worry about parking. Or parking. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. No, like, I've, I've checked it out. Having a car for me would be more impractical than not having one. I also can't afford having one, so, you know. Uh, this is actually from the Road 96 soundtrack. It is... A modified version of a very popular classic song. <laughs> I'm sure someone in chat knows it, but it's from Road 96, is the game. I wonder if I just set the game in windowed mode. Should I just set the game in windowed mode? Maybe then I could actually all down. I've had to refuel and sleep before, Seal. It's just that fueling and everything I've been paid for. We're almost at the location. I'll all tab when we get to the location. But another thing for me is that I, I literally just don't care about cars. The concept of cars is just so uninteresting to me. So at no point in my life have I ever thought, I want a car, you know? I have never thought that in my life. So I get that people who are actually into cars would want to own a car. I get that. But cars are so uninteresting, uninteresting to me. A hundred miles? What is that in kilometers, Memento? I don't know your silly units. Yeah, okay, that's fair. It's reasonable. <laughs> A hundred and sixty kilometers? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of driving to me. Like, that's like a, a day's road trip. 
I would consider that a long drive. I consider that a long drive, yeah. Hey, Marcus! Hello, hello! I know a lot of people really love this game. That's awesome. Ballot Yao, thank you, Meow. Thank you. I always forget the name of it. Hello, Godslayer! Morning. It's about two hours of driving? Yeah, that's a lot of driving to me. To me, driving for two hours? It's like something that I have to prep for. That's not just a, a casual one day's regular amount of driving. That's a lot of driving to me. I never want to have that as part of my regular routine. I'm just going to the left here. I'll do the usual parking. It's been smooth roading. I've been doing all right. You should have seen my last parking, Godslayer. It would have made you proud. You wouldn't have yelled a single time because I just parted perfectly. On my first attempt, I didn't even have to, like... I didn't even have to adjust by driving forwards a single time. That's how good my first parking today was. This one is a little bit trickier. So it might not go equally as well. Clips where it didn't happen. No, my chat doesn't clip when I do well. They only clip when they can make me look like an idiot. Oh, I'm mistaken. Thank you for clicking that. Success isn't funny now, I know. Fuck. I overcorrected. I know, I know, I know, I know. PD, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good night's sleep. Thank you for being here. Do the counter steering early enough, yeah. I do tend to leave it way too late, don't I? I need more space. <sighs> I'm getting better though. Like, I'm not saying I'm doing great at this, but. Even the people who hate me have to admit that I am doing better. Problem is now, my front is facing the wrong way. Isn't that alright though? Like, you would think, as long as I can just like get- The front of my truck shouldn't matter at all, is my opinion. Okay, 
this is gonna be the one. Do you think I'm telling you? They do tell you. They do I think this is milk? Didn't someone say that this was milk? Like this should theoretically be perfect because I could just like Oh, is it F6? Yeah, 23 tons of milk. That's <laughs> your porn star name. That's concerning, woman. Oh, come the fuck on. This is more or less perfect. I think this is more or less perfect. Game doesn't agree. This is the music for the dancing guy in uh, Road 96. Love that guy. He's just vibing. Like his entire life is just vibing to this music. I instinctively pressed the brake button to stop, but I was already reversing, so just reverse a little bit faster. I win. Sony on your passenger seat? I fucking hope not. We can help you grow. Your credit limit has been raised to 500,000. How about that? How much money do I have? I have 26,000, but I do need to like have a little bit of money saved up, I think. Okay, so what? Right now I am in Luxembourg, which means that I, like, if I want to use my truck, I can only take, like, Luxembourg drops. Is that how that works? Where haven't we been? Have we been to... Oh, we can go to Amsterdam! Oh, we should go to Amsterdam. I need leveling up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go to Amsterdam. I don't think we've been there. A weed trip! Ah, <laughs> uh, you can take any job you have to drive to. That's fair. Okay, I'm much faster now. I don't have cargo. I would never want to drive in Amsterdam. I would also never want to drive a bike in Amsterdam. <laughs> I've been there as a pedestrian and the bikes are fucking terrifying! They're so scary. They don't give a fuck. I'm not doing the World of Trucks event now. This is my third time ever playing the game. I'll just wait. I feel like I should be able to just like go, but there's a big queue. Yeah, I I don't want to drive in cities, but Amsterdam is definitely not built around like cars. It's built around bikes and boats. <laughs> you biked in Amsterdam under some sort of unknown influence.
I don't think we're ever gonna get through here. <laughs> Do I just have to like force myself in? Or maybe this will be my opening. After this next truck. No. After these next two cars. This is it. This is it. This is gonna be it. <gasps> no, because they're gonna have a green uh, red light now and then they're gonna stop and I'm still not gonna have space. There we go. And then new batch of cars. I suck. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, see, there's a new car right there. Someone would let me in. That's the thing. Someone would have let me in by now in real life. These are all assholes. Here comes a new batch, but this might be it. This <laughs> oh, oh, we got it now. We've done it. We've done it. I panicked, clicked a lot of buttons. No, that was, it was not a red light. It was not a red light. I disagree. Fuck, I made a mistake. That's... <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Oh my god. Now we're fine. The police didn't care? You need to be careful or else you die. That seems quite dramatic. I'd say. You had a job for me, right? I want to go to Amsterdam. That's a long ass road. No, we're going to take this one. Hyper, are you okay? Are you actually okay? Because you don't seem like you're okay. No? Go Istanbul. No. <laughs> no, now I'm definitely not doing that. You got to chill, bro. You got to chill if you want to be in my chats. You're free to suggest jobs and everything, but do it in a way that doesn't make you seem like you're... have had four energy drinks too many. Okay. <laughs> I see. I see. I'm gonna get you a little bit of a break. Because I don't have the patience for this. Um, thank you. We're gonna get you a little bit of a break, and you can come back later if you calm down. Ay, 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 ay. Hi, Gamer Squad. Hello, hello. Just point out mistakes and bully her. Yeah, that's typically how it goes. Okay. Ow. 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 Why well, is this harder to do now and that I don't have a trailer? Because now <laughs> I know how to reverse like with the trailer now. And now I'm trying to apply the same things without a trailer and that doesn't work. I didn't look at what this even was. A reservoir tank. Nice. Onwards to Amsterdam we go. Park? No, yeah, we just picked up the cargo comes there. Alright, here we go. I'm just gonna assume it's fine. They can see that I'm coming, so they also have a little bit of a responsibility to, like, stop for me, I feel. That one fell! I think. <laughs> I had a moment there where I felt almost as stressed as I do driving a real car. 
Oh my god. But now we're on the road. Bully the other vehicles. Bully them into submission. It's what I do. Would be nice if I had an easier way of like adjusting the cam. That way I can actually look to the sides <laughs> before driving. And that would be useful. Also, hi goats. Hello, hello. I think I saw someone set up the um, these buttons to like adjust the cam left and right. That would be quite useful. Maybe I should do that. Use your D-pad for that. Hmm. Yeah, see, that does seem quite useful. Just being able to um, just look to the sides, basically, without having to use my mouse would be nice. There's a bug that lets you go fly on that road. Is there really? Well, we might avoid it. We might be lucky. <laughs> Would be cool to fly, yeah. Isn't, um, is Microsoft's flight sim still on Game Pass? Wasn't that on Game Pass? <sighs> hello, Day. Hello, hello. I hope you are well. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, bow, bow. We drove here before, it's really nice. I love the sunflower field, it's really pretty. <laughs> Master of Truck. I honestly, how different can they be? How different can they be? <laughs> I'm Norwegian. Never go with Game Pass, do you want to keep on Microsoft games? Yeah, that's, I get that, I get that. They're just sky trucks, exactly. They're basically the same thing. They're basically the same thing. I mean, we did the last job, but we barely took any damage at all. I think that we can safely say that I have mastered uh, truck driving. I think we can say that. <laughs> I own my own truck. I can do trucking missions easily. I've mastered parking. So yeah, I'd say we mastered truck driving. I'm ready to move on to planes. My dad used to drive a lot of, um, of flight sims. That was basically the only thing my dad did uh, with, uh, with video games for a while. Was just drive uh, or play flight sims. He also had a a sailing simulator that he used to um, that he used to play. That was the dullest game you can possibly imagine. It was literally just sailing. It would take hours and hours and hours to get from one location to the next. Real life hours, not in game hours. Literal, like he was spent half a day. He would spend half a day sailing from one location to another. It wasn't any gameplay, he would just like set a location and then just sail. Also guys, if I'm not paying attention to something that is happening in chat, it's probably a good idea for other people not to either. There's no train right now. I didn't. I didn't see any train warning, <laughs> so we're fine. Oh, 
Sailing is by Stormworks. I believe it is, yeah. It's just my dad. He just wants to play like super realistic flight sims and sailing simulators. Because he loves sailing in real life and he doesn't have a pilot's license. But he was like super obsessed with, uh, with planes for a long time. He was super obsessed with planes. Um, and like he would, uh, there was a, a small airport near where we lived uh, when I was a kid and his friends would have like, they would go fly these mini planes. This truck is new. I know, but the truck is fine. The truck has suffered no damage, Seal. Don't worry. I treat my truck well, don't you worry. War Thunder? I... I don't know. I don't know what he plays, to be honest with you. I don't know what he plays. The truck is lying. I don't think so. You have something your dad would love. Do you really? You switch your PC off. Oh, shit! I hope that everything is fine, Seal. I always find, um... I always get anxious in thunderstorms. Hello, Sapphire! Hello, hello. Thunderstorms always made me anxious. The newest drone from DJI to come out, okay. Special controller, extremely new friendly, super easy to fly. It comes with first person flying goggles, nice. He does have a drone. <laughs> he does, uh, he has a drone and a remote control sailboat for the cabin. He does have those. Hello, Dan. Hello, hello. Do you to work out so many places in Europe called the most far? Nice. Where can you donate? Uh, you can donate through bits or, uh, or subs. I disabled tips through PayPal because they made me really anxious. The only people who donated anyway were people that I didn't really want to. <laughs> it made me more anxious than uh, than anything else, so maybe one day I'll, I'll enable him again, but... Uh, he does for now, Seal. He does for now. <laughs> yeah, Lamper, how dare you? Yeah, Romeo, I don't think that you are or really want to talk. I don't think so. But they have the drone and the, the sailboat around the cabin. Poop. <laughs> Thank you, Romeo. Lives on a boat, owns RC boat, plays boat sim on PC. He likes boats. <laughs> Did you know that my parents met when they were both working for a boat rental company? It's true. I'm good on gas. I should sleep at some point though. Um, yeah, we're good for now. Welcome back, Tails. He definitely likes boats. He likes planes as well. He has um, he has an airplane tattoo that he got when we were on holiday once. He always wanted to go skydiving. He was never allowed to by mom. My mom has a very crippling fear of heights. And when I was a kid, when I was in like the fourth grade or something, uh, a kid at my school lost his dad in a skydiving accident. 
so I'm not super keen on him going skydiving either. We're gonna stop here and sleep. It will be nighttime, but that is okay. Okay, lights. Oh, I need to turn my car on. There you go. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ah, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. Nailed it. Do you see that? I took zero damage. Zero damage. It is true, Galzair. It is very true. Um, I know that driving is statistically significantly more dangerous. It just wants, when you see something like that happen to someone you know as a kid, it kind of doesn't leave your brain. Uh, thank you, Rudens. I'll, I'll check that next time. I even out of lane. Yeah, but there was not any police around, so it's fine. I forgot how <laughs> forgot how sore my shoulders get from playing this. Amsterdam. <laughs> it really doesn't, Sarah. Sit further away. I know I should. I know that I should sit like this. I know that that's better for me. Except I hate it. <laughs> Except I hate it. But I know that this is better for me. I do have armrests, they're just a little bit too low. Like if I, to lean my elbows on my, on the armrest, I have to sit with them like down here. And that's fine. I just feel like I have a little bit less control like over the steering. Better is subjective, yeah. I can't use my legs this year. I think that I physically can't. Cause I don't think that I can move my, um, <laughs> steering wheel with my legs. I have control sometimes. Okay, this is not a good idea with this my truck. I don't want to hurt my truck. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll not do that. <laughs> It works as long as we're on a straight road. As long as we're on a straight road. We should challenge Alice to do this. He wouldn't. But we should challenge him to it. <laughs> You're jealous that I'm flexible enough for it. Yeah, that's fair. It's very difficult. For what it's worth. Don't want to sound like my psychiatrist if I did this without socks. Yeah. No, I believe you. I want to be here.
Oh, exclamation mark only fans, by the way. Courtesy of Meow. I'm amazed that this kind of works. I don't like this. <laughs> <sighs> There's some background story. There is definitely some background story to that. So I went to the doctor a couple of weeks ago. Well, about a month ago now. I went to the doctor and I talked to him a little bit about my anxiety because uh, it's been really bad lately. And um, he asked what I did for a living. Hi, Chris. Hello, hello. He asked what I did for a living, because I haven't been to my doctor for a while, because he's been at, uh, he's had paternity leave for what feels like several years, right? Um, so he asked about my job, and I told him about streaming, and, um, yeah, technically I drove better with, with my feet, I'm just saying. Uh, I told him about streaming, and he asked, like, okay, he was familiar with streaming. Apparently he has another patient who's also a full-time streamer. Um, but he asked, like, how many hours is it? And I said, between five and six hours, five days a week. And he was like, that's a long time to be, like, actively at work. Because at, in any other job, you get, like, down moments. You know? If you have an office job in particular, you're not actively doing your job for eight hours. And I don't get those mini breaks when streaming. You know, I can take breaks whenever I want, but I don't get those mini breaks. So he was like, okay, that's a really long time to be actively on and performing and being watched. And I was like, yeah, I guess, but I enjoy it. And then he said, <laughs> it would be less active work with something like OnlyFans. And I just sat there and I went, Te technically? <laughs> Technically, you're not wrong. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's the story of that command. My doctor suggested I start OnlyFans instead of streaming. That's a log out or the work machine, yeah. Mm. I did mention I was streaming games, and then I mentioned stuff like Euro Truck. I mentioned stuff like Euro Truck, and he was like, Yeah, I've seen people stream like. I've <laughs> seen people stream like trucking games. And he was like, Why don't they just drive trucks and stream that? And I was just like, Yeah. Why, why don't they just. <laughs> Right. <laughs> when do I start with that? I don't have any particular plans of doing OnlyFans. OnlyFans is a hell of a lot of work. I know of a couple of people who do OnlyFans and they work significantly more than I do. But what they do, like most of it, they're not like actively performing for several hours at the time and I think that that's the big difference because like the entirety of my job is actively performing in front of a camera I can't like take a break and alt tab and read the news or like check discord or whatever uh, other people who work at an office can do that and I can't and in that sense, it is a lot more tiring to do this than something that is like behind the scenes. But I also enjoy this a lot more than um, than doing like office work because I've had office jobs before. I definitely enjoy this significantly more. You totally won't cause many deaths. What me doing OnlyFans? What? Surely they would never sneakily spend 20 minutes reading the news and making teens that are working hard all day. That would be completely outrageous. The last time I had an office job, I would walk around the block like two or three times during the day. 
and I would get coffee and water from like the the machine that was like on the s <laughs> the floor above, just to like get some breaks to walk a little bit. We made some mistakes. We made some mistakes. But we're fine. I also always volunteered to like go to the store if like they needed something for the office. I once okay, they once asked me to go buy painkillers. Cause they had like they had a drawer for painkillers, right? In the office, and they once asked me to go and get it. And I did, and I walked to the grocery store with the company credit card. I was 24. And I couldn't buy painkillers because they asked for ID and I didn't bring any. I was 24. And I- I was- I had the company credit card. <laughs> and I had my fucking worker's badge. I don't want to park in the dark? That only just hit me. I have to park in the dark. They typically don't ask for ID. It's very rare that I get asked for ID. When I... Wait, other way. When I buy painkillers. They legally have to. With alcohol, if you try to buy alcohol, you're supposed to, uh, uh, you're supposed to show ID without being prompted for it if you're younger than 26. No, if you're younger than 23, I think. And then they are supposed to ask for ID if they think you're younger than 23 or 24. I don't know. I'm not going to be able to do this parking job. <laughs> I don't want to do this in the dark. Romeo. I mean, I just show ID anyway if I buy anything. I rarely do. But I just show ID anyway because why not? I always have it with me anyway. No, other way. Hello, Jube. Hello, hello. As a non-smoker, smoke breaks are annoying. I would agree with that. That's kind of why I took so many mini breaks. Because the smokers had so many mini breaks. No, other way. I just figure it makes- it probably makes their job marginally better, or easier, if I just show ID without them having to ask. Because then they don't have to make that call, like, they don't have to like, be like, uh, should we ask, should we not, you know? Then they don't have to worry about it, so I just show ID. It doesn't bother me. Don't hold other people's breaks against them. I don't! I'm just saying, if they get a break every 10 minutes, so I want to have a break every 10 minutes too. You know? I just don't think it's fair that they get extra breaks. So I just... It's not realistically every 10 minutes, but you know what I mean. If they take a break regularly, then 
I think it's only fair that I get to take a break regularly, too. Oh. You got asked if you were in college the other day. You left college 12 years ago. Oh. Bless you, Minnie. Yeah, just take those extra breaks. Like, as long as you get your work done, you know? As long as you get your work done. I dislike- I always really dislike sitting next to smokers, though. Because every time they got in from their smoking break, they would smell so bad. And I just don't like the smell of smoke. Wait, what do you mean? What did I crash into? Oh. Oh, this is close, though. I'm glad you can see that I'm improving, Benver. You hold your breath every time you walk past a smoker. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like this one with smoke at all. I don't mind, like, walking by someone smoking. I don't mind that. But, like, sitting next to someone at an office who has just had a smoking break, it's it's a lot stronger. Like, I, I think that the smell is a lot stronger than a lot of people realize. It's not something that you can just ignore, you know? I'm stuck on something. Ugh. Smoke smells like Sweden. Yeah, that seems accurate. is not accepted. <laughs> not fucking straight. You can't expect that much of me, Gunslayer. <laughs> can't expect that much of me. Hi, Thrawn. Hello, hello. Yeah, smoking is fortunately getting less and less popular. Vaping is the big thing now. You drive all the way to the fans. I don't even know anymore, Lenfer. It's too dark for me to see anything. I am definitely going like too far to the left, that's the issue. Nailed it. Fuck off. Quick delivery, probably not a thing that we should do. High value cargo. No, let's do long distance. I would just, I just want to be long distance driving. Use this space as given to you. That is a fair, <gasps> fair advice, I would say. Okay, where can we go from the Netherlands? I want to go to places that we haven't been before. We can do this. That'll take us to Denmark, unfortunately. We'll close to Denmark. 
The aneurysm I gave you? Yeah, you did not have a good time, did you? It really is lemon. It's outrageous how good the soundtrack is. It's so fucking good. We got a hammer. Ooh, that's a long trip though. Oh no, 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 no. It's a long trip. I just want to discover more cities. Newcastle. We can start making our way to like Eastern Europe. We haven't done that. We should do that. Yeah. I just, I want to discover more places because that means that we get more, more variety basically. Wait, did I accept it? I don't know that I accepted it. But wait. I don't have a location. I don't know where to go to pick it up. Where do I go to pick it up? Jail market, freight market. It starts in Amsterdam. Yeah, I I had a sponsorship for Road 96 and then as soon as I finished playing it, I just I bought the soundtrack. Hang on, I have to go put my phone to charging. I don't know how to get this, um, <laughs> this job. I don't know. I have set it as my GPS location. But I do not seem to have a GPS location. Currently, you have no delivery job. Now, I know I have to drive to it, but the other times that I have done the thing, like, as soon as I accept it, it gives me a GPS location to where it is. It's here, then. Where's the green thing? Oh. You might be right. You are indeed correct. We're fine now. Thank you. <laughs> okay, which one is mine? That one is mine, okay. It's not the one that I just parked now. Everything is under control. Everything is fine. New adventures await us. Do you think I can just drive? They can see that I'm coming. Nailed it. Lights out sounds like a terrible idea during the middle of the night. I'm leaning forwards again. I keep doing that. It's not on purpose. 
I swear I'm not like leaning forwards on purpose. It just happens. Okay. There we go, that's better. Lean backwards as far as you can so you have to like stretch your arm all the way to reach the wheel. And then one arm just slouching, I guess, out the window or whatever. Here we go. This is it. This is the re one leg also out the window. Here we go. This is it. This is perfect. I can't even see the bottom right, uh, bottom left um, thingy. Mirror. Okay, this is hard to control. <laughs> Oh, hello, Andreas. Hello, hello. They have a trick to stop new drivers from leaning into the steering wheel. What do they do, Manfer? A low rider? I don't know what that means. Oh, I, that's not the right driving posture for my car. I see, I see. Okay, so I shouldn't do that then. I should, should I drive like this? 10 and, 10 and 2. Didn't they go back on that? Isn't it not 10 and 2 anymore? Aren't you supposed to be like further towards the middle? They give the brake a good tap, makes you play that steering wheel. That sounds horrible, but also very effective. Here we're talking about stop loading. Oh no, that's not good. I wonder what would cost that. I'm gonna assume we've tried restarting the game. Leave your arms in the way for the airbag. Yeah, that's what I heard as well. So you shouldn't do that. Okay, this is really difficult, actually. This is the best battle music in any game ever. This right here, favorite battle track of any game. It's from Octopath Traveler, which I haven't played, but this song has been <laughs> on repeat so many times. I think the game is on Game Pass. We never played it. Can I honk the horn? I don't know what button. Fuck, that's. I don't know what button it is. H. We did it. Are you satisfied now? Now you're back to annoyed. Yeah, you're welcome. It's what I do. I annoy people. Is the music at a good volume, or would you prefer if I turned it up? I've been failing miserably at it. That's what I do, I fail at things. <laughs> <laughs> it's good? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Excellent. It's slow, but that's fine. Yeah, it's not supposed to be like overpowering. I just. If I'm singing along to the music, <laughs> I feel self conscious about that being like much louder than the rest of the music. <laughs> Road stunts? I don't know what that means. The sunrise is pretty. If I 
Great amount of trouble while we game together. The game sounds awesome. Thank you. Cats. Oh, the fucker. I don't know. I haven't seen any. Modern trucks have a steering wheel close to normal cars. Really? Yeah, I I associate truck steering wheels with like massive ones. I need the like these lights. Wait, these lights. The man in the big trucks, the <laughs> the guys from Psychonauts. Now, BMW. I assume the temperature on the dashboard. I assume that's our engine temperature. Fuck. Sorry. He's fine. That wasn't even a nudge. He's fine. We're good. We're good. It simulates power steering, which switches the engine off the steering- Wait, if you switch the engine off, the steering should become harder. Really? Oh. I thought that was normal. It also makes driving harder. Yeah, I've heard that. The less your engine is on, the harder they are to drive. But I don't have a license, so I can't verify. Does improve fuel economy. In these days, you kind of need that, don't you? God, having a car must be so expensive these days. With how expensive electricity is in Norway right now, or in all of Europe, like even having an electrical car must be so fucking expensive. In many cars, engine temperature is not the actual temperature, so the middle if it's somewhere in a healthy range. I see. Probably for the best I don't try. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. I know there's like stuff to do. Like one of the things that when I took driving lessons, one of the stuff that my instructor said that they were measuring was like how fuel efficiently you drive like it was it wouldn't impact whether or not you pass but it was something they took into consideration and she tried to explain that to me and i was just like okay i just want to drive i just want to make sure that i drive safely and can get to where i want to be like that's it that's my goal <laughs> all i care about Uh, people come into the car shops all the time. Yeah, that's fair. I think that that goes for a lot of things. Um, not just like the car engine temperature. I think for a lot of things, they give a lot of leeway in like the actual information that they get or whatever like numbers people necessarily need to get worried about. Just to prevent people from like needlessly being super worried or like calling or whatever. There's a green bit on the rev meter. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably not gonna pay super close attention to like fuel efficiency in this game. I'm just gonna drive. I'm just gonna drive and try to not crash into things. That's gonna be my main goal. Drive and try to not crash. <laughs> First time for fuel. That's fair. I believe this. I believe this. I mean, we haven't had to fuel yet. We've done several jobs now, and um, we don't. Ha we haven't had to fuel yet, so 
Can't be that expensive. Unless we pay like 10 grand whenever we do pay. If you're in an automatic mode, you have 90% of the fuel efficiency things taken care of. Well, there you go. Automatics are just better. At the risk of offending every single car person here, automatics are just better. When I do the FIFA stream, for those who missed it, I have accepted a sponsorship, a paid stream of FIFA 23. He was in my way. Should I make that the entire stream? Should we just do like a whole day of just FIFA? Since they're only paying for two hours. But I'm thinking if we make it into like a big event. We could do like they they demand they demand that you stream 30 minutes first of your regular content to like build a viewership. And I get that, so we might just do like 30 minutes of just chatting first. I tried explaining to the ones that I don't have like usual content, so if I start with a sponsored game, obviously if I start with a sponsored game, I do more than two hours. Because that's fair. But if I do three hours at the start of the stream versus two hours at the end of the stream, it makes zero difference. So we might just do like 30 minutes of just chatting first to fulfill their rules. So they don't get mad at me, because the last time I did that, they got mad at me. <laughs> and then I explained my reasoning to them and they were like, yeah, okay, that makes sense, that's that's fine, but... I just don't want them to be mad at me! I cannot stand it when people are mad at me, so I'd like to not do that. I don't think that I'm gonna play the previous FIFA games, no. I think I'll probably like watch a recap video. You never knew what that being on soccer. No, soccer is like that's my thing. You know the the ball sports and the s sport shows. Yeah, no, that's that's my jam. I crashed and said FIFA twenty three. <laughs> You don't understand how they even make sense. I've never played one of them, because they I like management games in general. Never played a FIFA game. So I don't know what to expect. But they are paying decent money for it, and honestly, I think that we could make a really fun stream out of it. I think that's the big thing. Like, we could make a really fun stream out of it. And I think we should probably do that. Going electric and having no gearbox at all. Hmm. Thing is, with the price of electricity right now, having an electric in Norway is really expensive. The creep function? I don't know what that means. As long as you can cruise fuel efficiently, yeah. I just don't want to have to gear. That's the thing for me. That was the one thing that I struggled with when I was taking driving lessons. So one thing that like I, I struggled and I know that that's just like getting getting more practice and um, and making it into muscle memory, but it was the one thing that I struggled with was uh, gearing properly. You finally makes it more exciting and that's fair. I got that. To each their own, you know. It's fun. I know a lot of people think that. I just prefer not to. <laughs> no. They had romance characters. <laughs> oh, 
A CVT. I don't know what that means. Makes you feel like you're missing something. Yeah, that's fair. I know my dad feels the same. He used to be a driver for a living. But I think that for me, as someone who has absolutely no interest in cars whatsoever, I just want driving to be simple. I just want driving to be simple and convenient, and I would like for the car to do most of the work for me, you know? Between matches is dating sim. I would play the hell out of that. No. Don't be like that. Legacy! Hello, hello! Thank you so much for the raid! I really appreciate that! I hope you win well. Hello, hello, hello. Is there a chase? This? Nah. I was just driving quickly. Legacy, I hope you had a lovely stream! Thank you so much for the raid! We're playing some trucking today! I recently got a, a steering wheel for my PC, and I didn't know what to play today, so... I decided, why not just truck, you know? But I hope you had a lovely stream, thank you so much for the raid! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I've never played PoE. PoE terrifies me. <laughs> it really terrifies me. I hope you're enjoying it though. Hello, Silfairy, hello, hello. The added complexity of a nose? I don't know what that means. So you got fine for being a 72, 72 kilometers over the speed limit. I think you should be fine for that. You picked up a launch like D, 29 on Prime Day, awesome. Yeah, that's the one that I have. That's the one that I have too. It's honestly- I've really been enjoying playing this. It doesn't have a lot of gameplay. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. It doesn't have that much gameplay. Like, it is just driving from one location to another. Parking is the most exciting thing of the game. But it is quite chill. I've been enjoying just listening to music and just chatting, you know? I've been enjoying that. Oh, engine in front, so they have the bonnet. I see. You need to talk to chat. Yeah, if I... I'm gonna be honest, if I didn't have a fairly active chat, I would never stream this. If I didn't know that, like... I'll generally have a few people chatting, I would never try to stream this. Because I don't know how to make this game all that interesting. If you don't, like, have something to talk about. <laughs> I'm sorry, Venom! I'm sorry! Oh, the best road sign. What was the road sign? Hunting Sim. I don't think I've ever played a Hunting Sim game. I did look into the game... Hunter. Call of the Wild? We can do a lot about trucks, yeah. That being said, though, I don't think it's a bad game at all. I just think that the gameplay isn't the most exciting in the world. <laughs> Sorry. Like I say, thank you again for the raid. I appreciate it. Enjoy. Enjoy dinner. Enjoy, um... Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you again so much. Ah, oh, no more speed limits. I see. Yeah. We, we will just be speed on this road. We will be speed. Yeah, Call of the Wild. I, I looked a little bit into that. I've heard it's good. I've heard it's really realistic. Is it good? You also get to sit in virtual traffic jams for two hours. That sounds riveting. But, um, that sounds... Incredible. Way of a Hunter. I see. No, I've never played a hunting game. I don't know 
wonder if I would like them. Maybe. The unofficial multiplayer mod. Uh. So what is the official one? Is that just convoys? Okay. That's fair. Only the host needs to have the map DLCs. That's good. I really like it when games do that, where you can play multiplayer and if the host has the DLCs, it gets shared with everyone. I think that that is a... I think that is a, a good way of setting up multiplayer stuff. Because it means that more people will play multiplayer. That was... yeah. I'll accept a little bit of blame for that, but it was the cargo and not my truck, so it's okay. We don't have some trouble with that release. Ah, oh, okay. I don't know a lot of people who play them, so I don't know a lot about them. Hang on, I'm gonna do something risky and I'm gonna lean forward and adjust my cam a little bit while driving. There we go. We're fine! Ugh. We're fine. This is a, a reasonable speed to be driving a truck. Because there's no one on the road. As long as there's no one on the road, we cannot hurt anyone or ourselves. As long as it's just us, we're safe. It's true. Okay, there's some other people here. Imagine being overtaken by a truck. How embarrassing would that be? I would feel a little bit embarrassed. My cargo? My cargo is fine. See, they will be happy if I deliver this early. Because delivering it early means that I am a better driver and that they will want to pay me more money and also hire me again. It's really think the police has been called. Nah. I don't think so. Because we're not endangering anyone. We're fine. <laughs> uh, hello, Dassel. Yeah, we're on the German highway. We're fine. If you saw a truck going 140 on the highway, yeah, I probably would keep my distance. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'd probably stay far, far away! Oh. Okay. Oh, that was a lot of money! <laughs> that was so much money. Oh no. Fine, I can slow down a little. I'll slow down a little, okay? How's that? It's not better. I didn't purposefully try to beat your number of runs. I just... The most important thing about driving is driving at a safe and reasonable speed, and I felt that I was driving at a reasonable speed. So, you know, I need to sit further back because I. Ugh. 
can't use the pedals without being at an awkward angle. Oh no, I'm getting tired? Oh, fuck off. There's only three hours. Wait, what was it? F6? We have 19 hours remaining for this job. We have 19 hours remaining. So we can stop and, and rest for a bit. Yeah, we can stop at the next rest point. Hi, any friend. Hello, hello. I do have pedals, yes. I do indeed. Oh no, it's raining. The bed behind me? There's a bed behind me? Is that my bed? Didn't look very cozy. I don't think that looked very comfortable. Can I get a better bed at some point? It does look kind of cold, doesn't it? I imagine that's one of the things that you can, um, that you can upgrade. We really need to stop at the next rest point, though. We are getting quite tired. 44 minutes until the next one. If you're this tired, 44 minutes is a long time of driving. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh no. We'll fuel up and um, and then get some rest. That's fucked up! Retro, thank you for hanging out! I appreciate that a lot. I hope you have a good night. I think I'm confusing it with Need for Speed. I've played so much Need for Speed in my life. I'd like to play that again. Wait, wasn't it? Yeah, it was over here. I was gonna say, but this felt like it was leading back to the road. Yeah, I played a lot of Most Wanted. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Onwards. We have no truck damage, we have a full tank of gas, and we have slept. Nothing can stop us now. Not even other drivers. The speed cameras on the German country roads, the type of car or trucks going over them, right. That's cool, Benford. That sounds convenient. Hang on. Just gonna quickly do something. 
Sorry, I'm just I'm postponing the ad that was about to run. Uh, cause I'm planning on taking a short break after we deliver this, and I'd rather the ad runs while we're doing, um, an actual break. Rather than running an ad now, and then taking a break. And this game doesn't let me just move my cursor over to the other monitor, so I have to alt-tab, which is inconvenient. I am just really tired. I'm just tired. We need to fix our, our sleeping schedule in this game, though. We really need to fix our sleeping schedule, because it's now... We just finished sleeping, and it's 8pm. It's not... Convenient. I had so many vivid dreams last night. I kept waking up like every hour or two and just remembering the most vivid dreams. Like, I, holy crap, I. <laughs> I did not have a restful sleep at all. Sometimes when I wake up and I take Link for his morning walk, I consider like going back to bed after I woke him after I walk him and then sleep until his next walk. But the problem is, by the time that I'm like halfway through our walk, if I walk him an hour in the morning, I'm so physically awake that I can't go back to sleep when I get back home. I could, but I no longer feel like sleeping in, you know? So I usually don't nap until like later in the day, if I nap, which I don't usually do. Once I'm up, I'm up. Like, I can go back to sleep again fairly easily, but not after an hour walk. <laughs> you know? After an hour walk, I'm kind of awake. Hundred and twenty, but I'm limited to eighty, right? Because I have a difference limit, which is kind of unfair, if you ask me. I think that the same speed limit should apply to everyone. <sighs> Swear silk thread, but it knit sticky means. Yeah, that's a good question, dude. That is a good question indeed. I don't understand my GPS right now. Okay, get it. Yeah, I bought the soundtrack for Cult of the Lamb. It was so fucking good. I had to buy the soundtrack for it. Maylan, thank you for hanging out. I haven't killed anyone, what do you mean? Thank you for hanging out. I hope you have a lovely night. <laughs> I'm gonna go postpone the ad again. I really need to just put it into window mode. 
I just don't want the ad to play when I'm about to take a break. Let's do that. Josh, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Thank you. That is very clean. <laughs> All right. This way. I guess we could just do like a double sleep when we're not on a job. That would fix our schedule, wouldn't it? We did that once because I, I slept in the game and then we woke up during the night and I was like, no, I don't want this. So then I just slept again immediately and we slept for like 18 hours. Well, 16 because I think we sleep for 8. Who's not worried? Yeah, me too. No, I... Fuck it. I'm just gonna go. I don't even know anymore. I don't know if I have green or red lights. I don't care. Let me pass. I don't know what that sound is. Day Day! Hello, hello. I hope you are too. Oh, you sleep nine hours. You're allowed to drive for 11? Really? How do they restrict that? Oh, that was a train. Okay. I thought it was my engine. How do they enforce a driving limit? Find periodically. I see. You have a recorder in your truck which records every time the truck moves. I don't know if you're serious or not. <laughs> I don't actually know. You're literally serious. I see. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, I guess it is a good safety measure because you literally should not be driving for more than a like, certain amount of hours. I think a lot of people don't understand how dangerous it can be to drive when you're really tired. I don't think a lot of people get that. Oh, come on! Yeah, all I think all like modern buses here have built-in GPS. So they tell you like how long until it's at the stop and stuff. Chip, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it a lot. I hope you have a good night. My brights are on. Yeah, it's the middle of the night. Are they not supposed to be? It's late and it's dark. Not when there are all the cars on the road. Oh. Okay, fair enough. I haven't really cared too much about all the cars on the road, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I remember that being a thing.
That's why you call it BMW driving. Yeah, okay, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. I don't think they do train. No one has complained in game at least. I have only gotten complaints from the police if I haven't had any lights on. So. They flash the lights at you. I haven't noticed that. So. I think as long as I haven't noticed it, it's fine. I am mastering parking! Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> enthusiast. I am now an enthusiast. Thank you. I yeah, we don't we don't talk about that member. But I'm getting better! The progress? No one can deny the progress that is being shown here. I'm gonna take a short break. I'm gonna go and walk around a little bit and just stretch my legs a bit. So uh, I'm just gonna go take a short break and then I'll, I'll be back soon. Oh, we're here. Can I play the drum? Is, is this playing the drum? Is this right? Does this count as playing? Thank you. If you guys vote for something bad right now, I will fucking kill you all. It doesn't matter because we're dying anyway. I am somewhat familiar with- ah! Ah! Fuck! Oh, mother of God. God, I hate you so much! Ah! There isn't a way out! The way out doesn't exist. That's definitely yes. Do you think it's friendly? I think that that's a friendly laser too. <gasps> Did I do it? Did I beat the room? No. Do you want to leave this island? Because I think we should I leave this married. island. I think that we should go somewhere else. Yeah, I agree. Where should we go? I don't know. Uh, I why threw out go, the antenna. Why don't we just take the sail down friend. and see where the wind takes us? <laughs> Would that be a good <laughs> idea, do you think? Here she is. Come on. Come on. Okay, what if I... Oh, what if I do the blanket? Legacy! Thank you for the host! I appreciate it. It's in the water is where it's meant to be. It's a hovercraft. Yeah, but now we've launched it. Oh, why would you hit me? Let's just analyze what just happened for a second then. I take the loot, you then come and melee me because you think I'm a loot box, and then the door opens and you immediately die because you're holding a fucking crowbar above your head like a pillow. And then somewhere you just think, oh no, that did just happen. He's going to say something, isn't he? <laughs> Are you aware that you have a magnum now? Yes. It is ridiculously good. Cool. It is pretty good.
really? 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> hmm, guy has had a mental break and is going to vent her anger on your animals. Thank you. Keep listening then. Maybe you'll understand something this time. No, I don't hear anything. Listen, she gave me entrance to the back entrance, okay? We talked about this. She said that I could use it. Rarely accomplished. Thank you so much. Hang on. No! I. W <laughs> okay, that was because the controls in this game are awful. Just really, really awful. Um, I am so careful, guys. You literally don't have to worry about me because I'm so careful. Remember when I was good at using the bucket to save myself? <laughs> I remember. I vaguely remember. Where the fuck is my dog's head? So... The way he's lying right now... That's a front paw. This right here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna take a short break. Twiggy isn't really a gamer. She's only played about five games. I'm gatekeeping. I know you are. I want to go. <laughs> I got blown up by an AP. I killed three innocent animals at once. Yay! Now none of them have to be lonely because we killed their entire family and they have no one else to be with. Ha! I did them a kindness. Oh no, headbutt a French. Headbutt! You headbutted a rhino, what? At least I bought enough time to land in soft spots. What? Hello! Hi. Does the music just not work now? I paused it. I'm great at this. <sighs> Hello, welcome back! Hi! Freight market! Where do we go? Where do we want to go? Do we want to continue going east? I know who lives here. Well, used to now. We can go to Poland. They have cheaper diesel, but I just refueled. I just refueled. It's 1 a.m. The only time you're getting off the chair is sleep. Yeah, that seems fair to me. 
If it's 1 a.m. and you're still in your chair, unless you have plans, it is reasonable to assume that you will only be in your like you will only leave your chair to sleep. The obelisk. I made it to the second boss in the ice place, the dragon. And I almost fucking beat him on my first try. But I did not. A recruitment agency. I can hire drivers who will drive for you. That does seem useful. I would need more trucks though. Is Would that just be passive income? Would that just give me like permanent passive income? When well, think about it, I think it's really good, Thrawn. Properly really good. It looks unnecessarily and overwhhelmingly complex. I mean, it has more mechanics than something like Slay the Spire, but I disagree that it's unnecessarily. Upgrade your garage or buy another garage. Ah, okay. So it is an investment. It's the kind of thing where rich people can do it because they're already rich and then they become more rich. Like I did a build today um, where I did my my black mage. Um, I did a pure fire build with her. So I ignored all the other elements, which was a lot easier. And uh, I did a pure fire build, and she had one attack that did like 50, uh, 100 damage per attack. Wait. Did it expire? You think it expired? We can go back to Germany. <laughs> or we can go somewhere else. It's fine. Uh, hello, though. Hello, hello. No, I'm playing alone. I'm playing alone. Fight, Marcus. What is good here, then? I am playing using VLC as a, uh, a player, yeah. It's easy. Solid piece of software, why not? I didn't see when this would expire. Might be too late. From Germany to Poland always <laughs> comes with risk. Yeah, that's fair. Should we stop by the repair place? Maybe we should, just for good measure. Yeah, I think we should. I'm sorry. No one saw it. No one saw it. Fuck off. No one saw it. You don't count many in this regard. Forever. I've noticed that. Hello. 
Repair me, please. Service. Repair all. Oh, it's so expensive! Five and a half thousand! What a scam. Valentine, thank you for out. I appreciate that a lot. I hope you have a wonderful night. I think that other cars should just consider not being in my way. I think that is a simple solution. When we get here, if the offer that I was going for has expired, we're just gonna take one of the other ones that are there, because I'm not gonna be driving back and forth in the city. So we're just gonna take one of the offers that are here anyway. Can I upgrade my brakes? You can upgrade so many things about your truck. I imagine your brakes is one of them, right? Yeah, that's good. Here we go! Onwards! On the road again! I really hope that the downstairs neighbors don't hear like the pedals too much. <laughs> they shouldn't! Right? I don't think they should. Unless I'm like stomping them, and I don't think that I am. I generally don't think that I am. You think you need to go to bed? <laughs> Super for vlog. I don't think so. How would I know, except for, like, breaking them apart and checking? Because I'm not really keen on doing that. I mean, they feel fine. The brake is harder than the gas, which I think is on purpose. That was, like, the one criticism that I heard about this, um, about this set. Is that the brakes can be a little bit hard. They're just springs, uh-huh. How do I ever button them? Would it be easy to check? The brake is harder than the clutch. Yes. Yeah, the clutch is fairly. Yeah, the clutch is a middle point between the gas and the brakes. For sure. You remount brake to clutch. I wouldn't mind doing that. 
But I think that in order to do that, I think that... No, I've done that seal. It goes all the way. It definitely goes all the way. Um, I feel like in order to... If I'm gonna remap that to break, then... I'd have to use both feet instead of just using one foot. You don't want to see me drive with the clutch. You do not. Yeah, change your mind. I don't think there's anything wrong with the brake though, Seal. I think that the brake is just harder to press than the other. Oh, well, that's okay. I wouldn't mind if it wasn't. <laughs> but you know. You like her too much. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can do it, I just... I didn't really learn it properly, you know? Because I didn't do it enough. I could learn it, like I... I know that I could learn it and get alright with it. I just didn't do it enough. I did do rhyming lessons. We got to the point where she she stopped letting me know when to switch gears because I could do that on my own and like realize when to switch gears and everything. So it's not that I can't do it. I just I didn't do it enough to really learn it properly. You know, it's one of those things that. You guys only know how to do it properly because you've done it so much that it's just muscle memory. It's not something you actively think about, it's just muscle memory. It's not that for me. <laughs> An actual motorist. I, I don't know about that. I think a proper driving sim would be good for, like, teaching me how to drive better, though. Without having to take driving lessons. It is for you in a racing game, even with any shifter. You can never get used to an IRL. Really? Interesting. No modern trucks with a manual gearbox is how to racing and rally. We are moving into a time and day where there just aren't any manual cars anymore. It's true. My new emotes are due on Friday. We will get... What was it I questioned? <laughs> uh, three static emotes, two will be tier one, one will be tier three, and then two animated emotes for tier one. So they are estimated on Friday. They could take longer, of course, because, you know, things take time. But she updated the estimated time um, for Friday. It's been a while since we had a new emote. I kind of want to stop at the next sleeping point. That's in six hours? Okay, never mind. 
What do you mean six hours? So if you're tired right now, you just have to take a detour. If you're tired at this point, it's detour or die. That's fair. Oh, that was a bit- wait. Oh, is that just how long I have until I have to rest? Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Shit! Fuck no! I was doing so well. today <laughs> you don't get to come in the moment i crash <laughs> and think that that means anything Ten thousand. no i have legitimately been doing well today i got so good at parking i've gotten really good at parking like unironically i can park now yeah, I bought my own truck and everything, so now I have to pay for repairs. No, 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 no. Jesus fucking Christ. You know, for a long time, waiting for the flicker for the first message. No, he is physically incapable of lurking in a stream. Unless he's hate watching. I am a great lurker. I can lurk for hours without taping a single message. He can't. No, Lamper, no. Definitely not. <laughs> I can't see the lights now, so I'm just gonna wait for him to turn. Okay, he's going to the left, so I will just get- I didn't cross into anything, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, we haven't been told that we smell by Mori today yet. That's the guy. So, I don't know. If you don't recall his own time, but they can reveal himself. I, I really don't think this is the thing that we need to like test them. <laughs> That's quite alright. Aren't there a lot of games releasing this um, this month? Oh, I was gonna check out what was it? Immortality. Um, by the people who made. Um... If you're lurking on Civil War, I'm no. <laughs> uh, the people who made her story made a new game called. I think it's called. Am I going this way? I think I'm going this way. It's called. I think it's Immortality. I want to play that. It's an FMV mystery game, guys. An actual FMV mystery game. I wanna play that. We might do that this weekend. Ugh. Fuck off. It's 6 a.m. Yeah, okay, this guy's on my sleeping schedule. <laughs> Slow. Is it because two of you run off the road? Yeah, I've been going to bed at like 6 a.m. lately. Which is fine, because Link definitely doesn't wake me up. No, this is not the Jimmy company. 
This is not the not the Jimmy folks, unfortunately. I want a new FMV game with Jimmy though. Jenks is amazing. As long as you get sleep, yeah, that's what I... My doctor was trying to argue that it's not the healthiest thing. He was saying how, like, when they did, like, their doctor's training and they worked nights, none of them worked nights anymore because none of them could take it. And I was just out there like, yeah, but I like working nights. I get to choose my own hours and I purposefully choose to start at 9 p.m. Like, this isn't a I can't handle that type of thing. But he was saying that, oh, but if you sleep at, like when the sun goes down and I'm just like no. no I like working nights way more than I like working daytime okay that was a little bit my fault I will accept that I'm going this way I'm sorry you're in my way there we go um I like being done early I really like being done with work early. Like, if I can get home from work at like 2 p.m., that's lovely. I love that. But the daytime on itself, like, the work hours are hell. I used to work shift work at customer service. And it was a place that was open until 9 p.m. And everyone wanted to trade away the nighttime shifts. Here's the thing. In Norway, you get paid extra if you work if you work like after a certain time. So the nighttime shifts for both during the like afternoon, they were slightly shorter. I think the shift were two hours shorter, but you got paid roughly the same. And I traded to me like every nighttime shift that I could. Because they all wanted to get rid of them, and I was like, please give me, please let me, let me have your afternoon shifts. What do I do if there isn't a rest stop? <laughs> what do I do if there just doesn't exist a rest stop and I really need to sleep? Do I just pull over? A helicopter. What do I do if there's a helicopter in my way? Keep going. Get in. I would, but... I think I might take some damage here, guys. I think that I'm too tall for this. So how do I sleep? What is the sleeping button? <laughs> I crouch because of panic. What's the sleep button? Why? No. You can only sleep at rest. Oh, fuck. Okay. But. Then I'm fucked! My GPS has stopped working. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. You can turn off the detour stuff if you. Oh, maybe I should do that actually. My GPS has stopped working. Oh, there we go. No, I pressed that five. I know. That's what I said. It, that's why I said it wasn't working because I know the button. I've been changing between them numerous times. It didn't do anything. None of the buttons did anything. That's why I was asking. I think we just have to drive for it. I think. I mean, we could turn back, but. At the Polish border. Yeah. <laughs> Not ideal. I don't think we can make it that far. But we will try. Wait, someone said something about Chip Perk. 
Sorry, I can't actually like pull my cursor up to the other monitor. Uh, you've been purposefully trading to every night shift. The money's good or you love nights? Yeah, Rinsler. I get that. I get that. But that's the thing. Everyone has different preferences. So... I always had people willing to trade their day shifts. Or, like, their afternoon shifts with me, so... I ended up just always working the afternoon shifts. Way fewer people called in, too, during the afternoons, which is nice. You get the most calls early in the morning and around lunchtime. And the thing is, at that company, <laughs> for lunch, they would close the phone lines and everyone would physically leave their PCs to have like a shared group company lunch every day. So coming back from lunch, you had to deal with everyone who had tried to call within like the last half an hour and couldn't get through. So working afternoons also meant that I didn't have to deal with that, which was nice. What cult was this? It kind of felt like a cult at some point. <laughs> it kind of did. Hello, uh, Marine. Hello, hello. Am I enjoying the life? I don't know if it's necessarily for me. It was a small company. Like, it was a small company. We were like 20 people having lunch together every day. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Whenever there was a birthday, people made cake. They ordered cake. I honestly, I really liked working there. I really did. I considered, like, applying for a part-time job there, but... <sighs> oh no... We have two hours... to make it. I think we have to just risk it. We can sleep after we made the delivery. I think that's how I usually stay up with the same thing. It's 50% promo, 50% pissing contest. I think that... Being the last person at a party? Maybe. But I, I think that... A lot of people will, like, brag about when they go to bed. Like, the later... The better. And when I say that I go to bed at 6am, I don't mean it that way. I just mean that that's when I go to bed. Just that's just it just worked out that way, you know. Some people work better nights. I definitely do. I sometimes thought about like what it would be like streaming during the day, and I would hate that. I would hate streaming during the day. Maybe one day I'll add in like one or two daytime streams. But like during weekends, during especially Saturdays, I can't technically start stream as early as I want. And I never want to. I never want to. But it's also partly because of Link for me. Um, like, I, the last walk that I, the last proper walk that I take with him is about 8 p.m. And if I start streaming earlier in the day, I would have to, like, either change his entire schedule, which means changing my entire sleeping schedule, or. I'd have to, like, take a break from stream to walk him, and I'm not super keen on doing that, so... It works out better for me to, like, stream after his last walk of the day, because then I don't have to stress about needing to take him out. Because now, I just... I take him out before I stream, and then I take him out before going to sleep. I just take him out in the garden. What is wrong with you? Oh, he's 50 now. We'd all have read it on Swine People I Now Hate on Twitch. <laughs> We'd messages in 12 Discords aren't for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretend that melting cheese is cooking. 
Spider Man's gonna wait a better sliding witch of two color lipstick. Oh, how do you know that I own multiple color lipsticks? They're only for special occasions. Two is multiple. <laughs> Remember when the first line of an argument that I got back was, you said several, but it turned out that it was only three? Three's not several! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That was fun. Good times. I have like three shades of red on my desk right now. I have three shades of red and then I have a purple, a light and a dark purple brown, I have a black, and then I have the oil spill, and a grey. You never look at my face out of respect, no. Too far away from my tits, huh? <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired, I hate eye contact. You don't know if I hate eye contact. What tits, yeah, that's fair. That's reasonable. <laughs> Even if you're talking. <laughs> I don't mind eye contact, it's just no one makes eye contact with me. I live in a state of perpetual non other people. I don't try worse. Fuck off! Oh, now I have to park. Let me see, see. Wait. <laughs> Carlos, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hang on, Sandman typed something that I wanted to read. <laughs> thank you for the bits. That's very clean. Uh, it was estimated something like 13 to 15% of population is geared towards being night people. Yes! I think that I'm one of those people. I've always been more of a nighttime person. Um, when I was a kid as well. It was always nighttime person. Okay. Onwards to parking. I hate any kind of contact. That's not true. I miss some kind of physical contact with any human being. <laughs> Uh, have I played the, the online? No, I have never played this online. This is my third time ever playing the game, so... I thought it's probably reasonable that I stick with, um... With single player. I used to start work at 7am. 6am? No, I started at 7 a.m. My bus would go at like 5.40 a.m. Fuck me, was that early? <laughs> but I did that because then I would be home very early. How can you find people 120 euros for a week sleeping? I mean, you can try. Just build them. What's the worst that can happen, right? Wait, what? No. You always skip parking, but this is like the only gameplay in the game. This is like the only gameplay in the entire game. He definitely would, Vinny. Zero! Hello, thank you so much for the raid! I really appreciate that. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you had a lovely time. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate that. How was Lego? I hope you had a wonderful time. I am playing Truck Simulator today. And I'm doing amazingly.
Je zult de kansen best ook doen, wens ik wel. Ja. I'm a little bit crooked. Other than that, I'm getting better at parking. I'm getting better at parking. I don't know what to eat after stream today. I had frozen leftovers for dinner. Honestly, the Lego games are really good. They're unironically like super good. I've only played the Lord of the Rings ones. But they're properly fun. Nailed it. They're unironically really fun. Yeah, the gameplay is fun. They... <laughs> the gameplay is fun. Um, they're true to like the original content as well. Impressively so. Thank you, Lanfer! I'm learning! That's what I'm saying. I'm learning. Should I upgrade anything? Is this just like cosmetics? I don't give a fuck about cosmetics. I want. They always have so much detail, yeah. Cosmetics are this game. I don't care about cosmetics. Trailer upgrades? What does that mean? Do I have to go to a shop? Oh, I can get a new engine. How do I know what engine I have? <laughs> I don't understand. I'm overwhelmed. I do own my own custom trailer now. I bought one today. I actually did buy a trailer today. Oh no, not trailer, truck, sorry. Tra I have a truck, not trailer. I forgot that those are two different things. <laughs> In my head, that's just one word for two things. <laughs> Bubbles. No, stop. Man, for thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. I hope we have a wonderful night. Uh, job market, freight market. Now, where do we go? I hope I bothered you a little bit less with my driving today. <laughs> but given that I'm getting much better at this, I think I probably didn't bother you that much. Actually, no, we should go sleep first, and then we can start looking for jobs. We should go sleep, because anything that I select now will just expire. Where's the nearest sleeping point? Literally right here. You want to replay some of the Lego games from when you were a kid? Yeah, I get into Run as Nightmare. I believe this. I'd love to stream... Uh, the Lord of the Rings Lego game. But it has all the movie music. I know that the Star Wars game, I know that they, they like heavily marketed that on Twitch. And I know a lot of streamers were paid to stream it. So I don't know if like that's different, but um... Like the, <laughs> the Lord of the Rings one is just everything is just movie music. And I don't think that you can stream that. I am getting better at this. You have to admit this. Even you got there. Have to admit that I'm getting better at this game. Okay, one more. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Job market. Oh. 
Wait, no, we start from where we are. Stockholm! Should we go to Stockholm? Or should we go further south? Italy? Holy fuck, that's a long ass drive. Let's go to Stockholm. Is it the Pope? No. That's the clutch. <laughs> See, PD isn't here anymore, so I don't want him to have the satisfaction of us getting to uh, to Sweden. Did someone say that all of the DLC for this was on sale now? Or was that a different game? Indicate. I am! <laughs> I am indicating. 7% off, okay. Stockholm. Even so, that off isn't bad. Romania is a really good DLC. It's not just the country of Romania. It's not all you get. Is it worth the money? More interesting to drive than Germany. I'm gonna be brutally honest. That wouldn't take that much. But to be fair, I feel that way about a lot of the places in this game. I don't feel like we've been that many places that have been interesting to drive. <laughs> They're just locations to me. They're just various locations that are all pretty much the same. They're just pro mods, yeah. Yeah, you talked about that. Wait, is Iceland a thing? Is that pro mods? That's probably pro mods. I will look into it. I just I'm not keen on spending too much money on this. But if they are on sale and we get more locations, because I, I do imagine that after a while of playing it, you get kind of bored of getting to the same locations over and over. So just having more variety, I'm sure it's nice. Why you wanna go into the mines? I literally haven't played the game, Alex! I'll go into the mines the next time I play it, I just need- I- I- uh, it's now a possible unlockable for me. I just need the tickets. I know that's on me! I have- have I blamed anything else? You want to drive a big rig in the Antarctic or the moon? What, in the game or in real life? You can find a dog collar. What, a dog collar and no name? Or no, oh, no dog? Doesn't that just indicate that the dog is dead in the mines? Or do you actually get a pet dog? Do you get a pet dog? Is it like Stardew? It means you can get a dog. Okay, fine. I'll play it tonight. <laughs> yeah. It's been... <laughs> it's been a rough year, okay? I just assume that everything is negative at this point because that's how things have been. 
<laughs> no, it's a difference between a fucking pet store and a mine. If you go into a deep mine and you find a dog collar, it's your first instinct? Wow, they're... What? What just passed it? Oh. I see. Hey, I found the pause button. Wait. Toggle side mirrors? F2? What? Oh, that's just keyboard buttons. I was thinking about, like... So what are these other buttons? Nothing is what these other buttons are. What if it died and then, like, rats and stuff in the mine ate its corpse? You would have nothing but a collar left. Checkmate. Or what if it escaped? What? <laughs> I have become pessimistic by nature, okay? Sign of a goth girl, maybe. When you have to say something super dumb to conquer or argue. <laughs> I mean, I was just saying, it, it's not, just, just, if I, um, all I'm saying is if I found a dog collar in a deep mine, I wouldn't just think, oh, there must be a live living dog around that I can adopt. I don't, th no, that's different, Alice, that's different, shoes, <laughs> shoes are different. Because humans can generally take care of themselves and take off their shoes on their own. You played too much Fallout 4 to go into deep mines. I have never played Fallout 4, but I think that this is fair. I am surviving. Isn't that enough? I am at least surviving. And I think that that is one step to taking care of oneself! In my defense, he was being very slow. In my, in my defense, he was being like... <laughs> very slow. Carlos, they don't, um... They don't stop you, but you get tickets. <laughs> You only get, like, tickets, so you lose money, but they don't actually stop you. So you just pay a little bit and then you're fine. They should jail you. <laughs> I don't think I've seen anyone play Fallout 4 recently. <laughs> no. The wheel tag is to indicate that I'm playing this with a steering wheel. Which I think <laughs> is a reasonable tag. <laughs> uh, remind me to show you some chat logs from earlier today. We had a blast. I don't know what that means, Seal. Ko is doing heavily modded Fallout. Okay. Oh, YouTube. I don't watch YouTube. Aside from Scary Game Squad, so. <sighs> and now, dead vehicle. I feel like your guys are making comparisons that aren't really the same as the original topic. I, I feel like. You're not really <laughs> You're not really doing fair comparisons here. I'm hurting trucks. Add it to the list. Seal. The original topic was Ala said that he found a dog collar in a deep mine in a video game. And I said that that doesn't necessarily make me feel like there's an alive dog that I can adopt. 
If I go down to an abandoned deep mine and I find a dog collar, I assume that the dog is dead. Which I think is reasonable. Apparently the dog is not dead and you can adopt it, which is nice. I'd like to adopt the dog. Speaking of dogs, Link is such an annoying piece of shit lately. It's probably dead, you just find a new one. I hate you. Like, I actually... Actually hate you sometimes. <laughs> Link is being such a little bitch these days because there are so many dogs in heat around. And it stresses him out and he's so annoying to walk and... I hate it. He spent 10 minutes licking, like, sniffing a pile of OP earlier and licking it. He's so annoying. I also managed to grab a tick from him before it attached today, so that's good. Josh, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. I hope you have a lovely night. Have I thought about putting him down on mine? When he's annoying enough? Yeah. When he reaches peak annoyance? You know what really annoys me with Link being super annoying? Is that he doesn't know that I think he's annoying because I never take it out on him. He doesn't fucking know that he's being the most annoying piece of shit that's ever existed. He has no idea. So then I turn to him, and he just wags his tail. This is me. And then I feel guilty about being annoyed at him, and then I cuddle him. He has it all right. Are you saying that you're fa you failing to convey any kind of feedback or emotions to the people who hurt you and then they keep hurting you and you haven't said anything at all is also true for animals? <laughs> no, it's not that I'm not giving him any, any like feedback about it, but I'm... Like, I can't take out my annoyance at him. That's my point. I can't, like, yell at him or anything like that. Like, I... No, no, no. I try to... There are some annoying behaviors that I can't really deal with because I can't really fix the fact that he wants to sniff something for 20 minutes. That's fine. It's annoying, but it's fine. away from it. But the point is, when I walk Link, I walk him entirely for his benefit. So pulling him away from the one thing that gives him joy in life, I might as well just not walk him. <laughs> the one thing that gives him any semblance of joy in life. <laughs> what is he doing right now? He's sleeping. He is fast asleep behind me. I am exaggerating, but like, he loves going for walks. He loves sniffing things. It's one of the most fun things he knows, is just being able to sniff things for like 20 minutes. So me telling him, no, you can't do that while we're doing this one thing that is entirely for your benefit. That would be really stupid and mean. A stupidly luxurious life. I treat him like I would hope any dog owner treats their dogs. I don't think I treat him like particularly 
extraordinarily well. I just treat him like I I think that dogs deserve to be treated. How much time do I spend doing something targeted for my benefits? None. That's not the point. <sighs> Okay, Alice, when was the last time you did anything for your own benefits? Do you want to play that game? If the bird is the main thing getting annoying, the only way to stop that is to shout, search. No, he doesn't care about that, Romeo. <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck about that. You're enjoying judging me. <laughs> I am glad that you are. We're gonna go here because that is the furthest way, and that way we skip Denmark. You enjoy dinner, what did you have? Did you have the hamburger? Stop the fuck thing. I'm just asking you what you had for dinner. You said that you enjoyed dinner. I'm asking questions about your dinner. It's called making conversation with someone you care about. You can sit for a minute, not please don't sniff that ever. Yeah. Discouraging from pairing, right? Fucked up, man. <laughs> this is probably fine. Fuck you! Oh my god. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you for the bets. I appreciate it. That is a very sudden, very loud alert. <laughs> yeah, imagine using shields. Imagine using shields. We might do Immortality this weekend. When is the next Dark Anthology game coming out? Isn't that soon? Dark Pictures Anthology. Yeah, that. Isn't that like next month? Malmö. We are now in Sweden. I apologize. I will admit though, it is, the nature is nice. Boring, but it's nice. They have a lot of trees in Sweden. It's just northeast Denmark. That's an insult to Sweden. <laughs> That's. <laughs> So thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. I'm sorry you had to do actual modding work today. <laughs> but I hope you sleep well. Thank you for hanging out. We didn't see you as well. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you hanging out. Have a good night. I accidentally stopped. Entirely. Norway is just Northwest Denmark. How fucking dare you? I have been gravely insulted to my very soul. Premium Sweden. Okay, you know what? This is just hurting at this point. This is just hurting. Sweden with taste buds. What? Go. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow. Attractive people with double the daylight. We put the Danes. Yeah, we never put the Danes in charge of anything. I've actually had some good experiences with Post Nord IP. Surprisingly. 
I got some Halloween decorations in the mail today. I'm waiting for a couple more things. Um, I think I'm waiting for two more things. Three more things, maybe. And then I'm gonna decorate for Halloween. And the decorations are gonna stay up until my birthday. And then I will allow people to start decorating for Christmas and talking about Christmas. That is my own, like, personal limit. I... My birthday is not during Christmas, so... Don't talk about Christmas until after my birthday. Thank you very much. Your house is famous for being haunted. What does that mean? What can we get for your birthday? Nothing. I want nothing for my birthday. I want to stream and try to have a good time. And that's it. That's what I want for my birthday. People think your house is haunted. I see. Is it? The couch skeleton. <laughs> Buy you chocolate or something? That sounds nice. I just feel guilty when people get me stuff. I'm bad at receiving gifts. Ten days after my birthday. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, the childhood home that I grew up in was a house from the 18th century. And it was the only house in the neighborhood that had a bomb shelter. <laughs> Literally, the local neighborhood's bomb shelter was in our house. So yeah, there were rumors of it being haunted too. My parents were convinced that it was haunted. They believe in ghosts. Anything you actually want is far too expensive for present. Yeah, you don't want loads of junk. That's fair. Apparently, Mafei has bought me a birthday gift that she thinks that I will hate. No, that's not what she said. She said, I don't think you'll like it, but I think you'll understand it and laugh. And I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. cardboard cutout. She's the kind of person who would do that. She <laughs> She's the kind of person who would legitimately do that. This is concerning. People believe in ghosts or the spirits of the dead ones watching over them, they would never masturbate again. That's fair. Give me some money for you to spend on whatever you want. Lights or planes? <laughs> yeah. I don't think she's getting me any toilet related things. That would be really weird. Even for her. Yeah, no, I just- I don't like getting gifts. It's like this weird psychological barrier. You know what you're getting you. Yeah, and I'm I'm concerned about that too. I'm concerned that you found a gift for me and I worry about what it is. Since your last gift was really fucking nice. As soon as I make the face, she bought it for herself? What? She can warn you with shit. What did you hmm. Mm, it's a t-shirt. <laughs> I, um... 
she messaged me a while back, not a while back, like a week ago or so, and she was like, I have to resist searching Christmas on Etsy. And I said, no, Lefe, you're gonna have to take up another loan. If you search Christmas on Etsy, you're fucked and you're gonna have to take up another loan. And so I immediately told Memento, you should probably ban Etsy, like, permanently from, like, all of the devices that Lefe owns before it's too late. She really doesn't respect anyone's consent for t-shirts, does she? She really doesn't. A one and a half meter tall Hollow Knight grub. Wouldn't that just be a body pillow, but a grub instead of an anime girl? I'd actually be okay with that. I yeah, I I'd be fine with that. Stop! Do we know what time of year it is? Is sunset and sunrise always the same in every country in this game? Or does it depend on how far north you are? What I'm asking is how realistic is this game? Yep. Sorry. Sorry. Ugh. I'm so tired. It does change. Okay, that's good. That's good. I'm glad. Oh, 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 oh. It's always somewhere. I see. Cardboard cutouts of people that I hate so I can burn them in my yard. That w yeah, that would be really cathartic! It would be. It would be expensive, though. It would be very expensive. Or a punching bag. Should I get a punching bag? I walked by a sign today that advertised like martial arts. And I considered signing up. I don't think I would lose a punching bag. I think. <laughs> I think I'd be fine. Um, but I. <laughs> I very strongly considered signing up to a martial arts class because everyone I've ever known who has done martial arts, which is a large amount of people for some reason, they've all said that it does wonders to like their self-esteem. Can I even lift my dog? He weighs four kilos! I carry him up and down the stairs every single day. Like five times a day. He can. He can walk up and down stairs, but the stairs in my apartment building are very slippery. They're very narrow and very slippery, so he would fall. I would snap my wrist and her fingers. I don't think that that's true. No, I believe you. I believe you. I don't think you're trolling. I know that you have to be very careful. Punch hard with the closest system done. <laughs> Learning self-defense changes the way you walk down the streets. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. Like I I've been thinking about that, like seriously. That like doing some kind of self-defense or martial arts something would probably be very helpful for me. Finding several martial arts that worked well for you. Going past this new thing and try a different type. Mm. I have thought about that because I I know that they have uh, karate and jujitsu near me, um, and I have seriously considered it. It's just the cost and everything, and then having to like actually train Link to be home alone would probably be needed, unless I can actually befriend my neighbors and have them watch him. But that would feel awkward, seeing <laughs> the skin run. Unami! Yeah, 
yeah, I think that I would actually quite enjoy that. If not, like, the workout itself, then just the psychological effects of it. I know, Michael. I know. It is just, it's really difficult because I... The thing is, in order to, like, train them to be home alone, you start really small, right? So you start by just going outside of your door and closing it and then coming right back in. The problem is that my door has an automatic lock that locks almost immediately. So, and then it's a code lock as well. So, I close the door and then it's like... <laughs> it's a whole 10 second ordeal. And if he starts barking during that, that is too late. So, it's actually quite tricky. But I know I just have to do it. It's just not work. Uh, only during weekends, seal. Only during weekends. Oh uh, no, he starts barking way before a minute. I can get two steps down the stairs. And then he starts barking. If, if he starts barking and then I open the door, then it reinforces the belief that I came back because he made noise, basically. It's not just barking from him, it's howling. And howling is how they reunite the pack. So if he... If he starts barking and howling and then I open the door, then... I just reinforce that. How long until he stops? He doesn't. That's the issue, he doesn't. He doesn't stop. The annoying thing is that he was trained to be home alone in our old apartment. He could be home alone an entire workday, not make a sound, and be fine. And then we moved and he developed separation anxiety. And he hasn't grown out of that, so... I think if I did any kind of workouts or anything like that at all, Carlos, dating the instructor would not be an option. I also don't think anyone should do anything like that with the intention of meeting someone. But yeah, no, the, the issue is that he doesn't stop. He would bark the entire time that I'm gone. Like, the last time I left him alone, I was gone for like an hour and a half. And I came home and I asked my neighbors... I asked them, did you hear him bark a lot? And they said, yes, the entire time. Like, he never stopped during like an hour and a half. And I felt so fucking awful. But I had a doctor's appointment, I couldn't just not go, you know? Give him something to do with the time. He the, the thing is, sometimes I do, sometimes I give him like a, a chew bone or something like that, or like a frozen Kong. And he stops. Like as soon as he notices that I'm gone, he leaves them alone and then he starts barking. And then he continues it once he knows that I'm back home. That's the, issue. the distractions don't work that well on him. Yeah, like, 99% of the time it isn't an issue because I am home all the time. I work from home, I get my groceries delivered. I don't really go outside a lot, so it's not really an issue, but it would be nice if you could, you know. Creator has disappeared. Right. If she didn't settle after half an hour, I'm gonna let her out for at least 45 minutes, then an hour. Mm. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I feel. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's just annoying because I've done it before. Like, I, I trained him from scratch being home alone when he was a kid, when he was a puppy. And then we moved, and his entire, like, mental well-being just completely reset itself. And I understand that. I understand that. Like, it takes dogs quite a long time to, like, feel comfortable and safe in a new place. And I get that. 
He just hasn't gotten better. If anything, he's gotten worse. Which is partly my fault. I do admit that. I... Didn't really take on the work of like training him to be home alone here after we moved. That's on me. I fully admit that. Uh, I don't think so, Carlos. But I wouldn't want to drug him to be like home alone. Be more of a cat person. That's fair. I'm not a huge fan of cats, but I never had one. It's like my sister had a cat when I was a kid. And then we moved houses and the cat ran away. And that was the last time I had a cat. So. For me, it's not that I don't like cats, it's the fact that I've never had any experience with cats, so I'm not that comfortable around them. I don't speak cat's body language, but I do speak fairly well dog body language. Yeah, the problem, Michael, is that he, he doesn't stop, unfortunately. He never reaches that point of just calming down and, um, and not barking. When he's exhausted, he doesn't. <laughs> Maybe if he gets like proper exhaustion, but that would be like a full work day and I'm not really keen on that. Oh, you're not a pet person. That's fair. I think that for me, it's really good for my, for my mental health to have a dog. Because it forces me to leave the apartment and... It means that... Just like having someone who depends on you... Can be quite helpful. It does lead to a lot of guilt though, at least in my case. Like, I feel like I'm not doing enough for him. I feel like he could be happier, he could be... He could have it better. I walk him for two and a half hours fucking every single day, and I still feel like he could have it better. But that's a me problem. <laughs> Watch the tail whenever they lay down on their backs and stretch to saying, look at my belly, touch it and I'll cut you. The way that I always saw that, Hafu, is that when a cat like exposes their belly, they're showing vulnerability to you, right? They're actively being vulnerable around you. And by trying to touch their belly, you're kind of taking advantage of that. And I think that that's why they don't like it. The reason they don't attack you is because I did something scary and vulnerable for you and you took advantage of, advantage of that to fuck you. You know? <laughs> Hi, Rainbow. Hello, hello. If a woman flashes you in your look, yeah. You deserve to be bitten. Link isn't like that. If he exposes his belly to you, he is expecting you to pet his belly. And if you don't, he will be very sad. And if he's very sad, he will look at you with his sad puppy dog eyes and he will stare at you for the next hour. Yeah, so we're fairly far north now and it's 3 a.m. and it's getting bright, so... I would walk in the other opposite direction, Carlos. Fast. Train them just like bathing, touching their feet and belly when they're young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, teaching Link to be okay with us touching his feet? It took years! Oh, he would be so angry if he touched his feet, and now he's just okay with it. I'm so happy he's okay with it. Because that was such a nightmare. Flamingo! Thank you so much for the raid! I appreciate that. I hope you had a lovely stream. Hello, hello. Welcome. We're playing Euro Truck Simulator. This is a game where we drive trucks. 
Bow, bow, bow. Hello, hello. Uh, the last talk you had... We had a white... Oh, no! Okay, we'll you can run along the length. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would just constantly howl? Oh, that's horrible. I'm sorry. Trotter Wayne never came back. I would die. I would just die. I am so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'm so nervous about Link running away. I, he's never off leash unless it's in the garden. Like, in the middle of the night. Which doesn't sound that safe. Given that it's the middle of the night, but... During the middle of the night, he just wants to pee and go back indoors, so it's fine. Stockholm! Hey, we're almost at the target! Some kids came by comforted and yeah, probably went to find them, maybe. I um <laughs> I've been listening a lot to architects lately. I used to like them a lot back in the day. Um but I have No, I was supposed to be down there. I used to listen to them a lot back in the day, and then I haven't for a while, and I just got back into them. Uh, and I looked up some of their merch. <laughs> and some of their merch just has the word broken over it. And I almost bought it. Because that's really funny. They're so good, though. Yeah, the scenic route, exactly. We're just seeing more of Stockholm! Because it's a lovely place, right? <laughs> I didn't actually buy it, okay? I wonder if I stop self deprecating. <laughs> I didn't buy it! I'm just saying, a band I like has merch that just says broken. <laughs> And I found that funny. <laughs> okay, this is quite pretty. This is quite pretty, I will admit. We haven't been to Western Norway though. We went to Stavanger. We can go, um... There's a trip up there we can go. Anyone who self-deprecates believes everything they're saying deep down. Wait, what? You can't just assume that about someone. That's... That's... No. I can't. I can't. Oh, We didn't go to Bergen, no. Uh, we think actually we want to go everywhere else. We should go to Bergen next. But I don't want to drive my truck all... Oh, we are in Stockholm. Maybe we can. I don't think we'll get a job there, though. I don't think we'll get a job. Thing is, we drove past uh, Christiansen, right? We drove past Christiansen and I did recognize a lot of places there. But I'm not that familiar with uh, a lot of the other cities in this. I honestly, I will say the Scandinavia DLC is a little bit lackluster to me. It's cool to be able to go to Scandinavia, but if you look at the map real quick. Okay, this is nice. Well, no. Good night, John. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. <sighs> Set up at a Russell server. I saw that Soviet was streaming it. Yeah. We could go like this way and then over here. Oh, we can drive over the mountains? Oh, this mountain. I've been over these mountains. That's an amazing trip. We should do that. That's what we're doing next. After this. Give you a rust buzz. I'm excited to play Rust again. I really am. Can you build on the trains? Like, how do they work? Can you build? Oh! We're fine. 
maybe people should be going to the Rust Row. Guys, if you are interested in playing Rust this October, you should join Alice's Discord and go to the Rolls channel and assign yourself the Rust Row so he knows roughly how many people are interested in playing Rust. It's very simple. You'll also get pinged when he does put up a Rust server. And then we can all play Rust! I will when we when we on you. Unless I hate you, then don't. <laughs> I will one v one you. Fucking try me. I find it so soothing to just go sc scrap hunting in Rust. I really do. I love scrap hunting in Rust. I'm just looting and tearing down traffic signs, looting boxes. So soothing. Join us, Sarah. It'll be a story in October. It's really good. It's really fun to play on an active server. It's really fun. Squirt for to Yeah, I saw that! Total scrap found and gambled. Please. I would love that. Because for me, I don't really know what I want to build. But that would still give me some incentive to like do things and gather things without necessarily needing to build that much. So yeah, that sounds really fun to me. Because <laughs> of a Saturday night owl. You can't say that. <laughs> a boathouse with a fucked up roof. I should probably do that. Oh. That is kind of my thing by now, isn't it? <laughs> I can't without using a fucking mouse! I'm not using my mouse to look around, I just hope that it's clear. Nushkin! Okay. <gasps> you didn't know anything with the game? See, that's the thing about playing on a server like Alice's server, is that... We've done so much rest now that we know the game pretty well. Which means that if you ever have any questions, you can just ask and then people will help. It's really nice. And then just like seeing people around playing the game is really nice. I mean, I do technically have buttons. I do technically I do have buttons. I just don't know which ones I would assign for like to make it easiest. I've gotten so much better at parking. <laughs> so much better at parking! Okay, world map. I'd like to go... Yes, that. I'd like to do this. We're just gonna drive there. I'm not gonna get a job or anything. We're just gonna drive there. I just... <laughs> I'm tired. I just want to see the mountains, Gandalf. Mountains. I have learned to drive by the mirrors! I have. I'm legitimately like... I'm not just winging it and seeing if it works or not. I'm using the strategies that I've learned. And it's working. Uh, I mean, I could do the Xbox buttons, yeah. No, these are PlayStation buttons, actually. Apparently the PlayStation wheel was more recommended than the Xbox one. I don't know why. But this was the one that was discounted, so... <laughs> That's the one that I went for. We need to go out to Minecraft. Yeah, the Minecraft server will just stay up. Um, so... 
if anyone wants to keep playing Minecraft, you're more than welcome to. And if anyone isn't on a Minecraft server, you're more than welcome to join. Uh, we have a server, all the information is in Discord. You can just DM me your username or, um, or post it in the channel and I shall wait for you. And if you want to play Minecraft, you'd be welcome to. Not that many people play anymore, but that's how Minecraft works. You play it for a couple of weeks and um, then you get bored of it. That's just how it goes. <laughs> that's the Minecraft cycle. I do not have a driving license now. I took driving lessons. I got close to getting my license, but then I hurt my foot and I had to stop and then I had too much anxiety to start them back up again. <laughs> Oh, some twisty gnomes. Yeah, I have like this. Oh, maybe that. Maybe I could have signed that. Hang on. Does that work? I don't know what this is. Is it in look right? Okay, look left. Okay, that could work. Oh god, that's horrible. Oh, that's so horrible! No! <laughs> I can't have it that way. <laughs> no. no. It was a good idea in theory. Oh, look forward. Is that interior look forward? Okay, you know what? This can work. I just need to not spam it, because I was spamming it. There's a little wheel, you see. There's a little wheel on my wheel. And I was like turning it all the way and it turns like, as you can see, it turns like one at a time. So if I just do that carefully and then I just click the wheel, that's better! I can work with this. It looks like I've driven for a decade. <laughs> Thank you. I think that the fact that I have some experience driving, like, I took driving lessons for like a couple months, as well as driving privately. So, having sat in a car before definitely helps. Interior look left. Wait, did I do that right? Yes. That could work. We can leave it at that and then see how that goes. So we're gonna drive over the mountains. I vaguely remember hearing someone say that the, the mountain road in this between Oslo and Bergen was really nice. There was some... Um, when slow TV became a big thing in Norway, because slow TV is a really big thing in Norway and Sweden. Uh, one of the first shows that they did was... Um, they literally just filmed the entire trip between Oslo and Bergen and then just broadcasted it. That was it. There was no action or anything. It was just a train. It was literally just a train, train ride. No voices, no talking, no nothing. Just a train ride. And it had such high viewership, it was ridiculous. Oh. 
But that's such a such a pretty uh, pretty route, honestly. It's ridiculous. You missed the shipping forecast. Oh no. Hello, Slasher. Hello, hello. If you enjoy driving games, then yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You saw that your choice, nice. Anthro! Hello! Yeah, it's like it's a really niche thing, but it's just you don't watch it for content, you just watch it for the comfort of just having something on that is just slow. Nothing happens. You don't have to pay attention. You don't have to pay attention. You can just like keep it on in the background and it's just it's just soothing, you know? It's just comforting. It's really nice. Hello, Rainbow. Hello, hello. I hope you are well. You know exactly what I mean. <laughs> Fuck. Off! Oh, Bully! <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go. Thank you. Thank you for stopping. You have American Truck Sim and you like it? If you have American Truck Sim and you like it, then yeah, I think you'll probably like this too. You can get the DLCs. Um, I think it's on sale right now. Oh, I should stop and sleep, actually. Everything is on sale right now, so... If there was ever a time to pick it up! I'm just gonna fill up my tank real quick. A knitting one or fishing one? I remember! It's the fishing one, it's not Norwegian! Because I remember a um, a fishing one as well. Oh wait. This is the sleeping spot. No. <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm dumb. Wait, no. It just popped up, didn't it? Yeah, this will do. No, I want to, um... Hang on. I don't want it to be nighttime when we cross the mountains. I want to make- oh, I could have stopped here, I see. Okay, that's fair. I don't want it to be nighttime when we cross the mountains, because it's- it's- If it's anywhere near, like, what it is in real life, it's so pretty. And I don't want us to miss out on that. Okay, well, we took care of the sleeping thing, so that's good. <laughs> Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Also, I have more money than I thought. I have like I have forty thousand. That's pretty good. I think. Considering that I'm buying everything and paying for everything myself now, it's pretty decent. You do earn a lot more, yeah. I mean, there are bigger costs as well, but it seems to be worth it. Uh, it's euros, yeah. It is listed in euros. You can probably change it. Wait, I need to be- Oh, Oslo is- Oh, okay. I admit that I might have been driving a little bit too fast. <laughs> but that's okay, because we don't have any cargo. We don't have any cargo. <laughs> it's fine. 
Uh, I'm from Norway, Slasher. Really, Seal? I feel like no one would know how much money we had at any point if I did that. Yeah, but I have so much money now. That is fine. It is fine. The number stays the same. Yeah, well, that's fine. I'll get more jobs. Oh, it's fine. We can always take up a loan. I swear I'm actually financially responsible in my life. I promise. I, I genuinely am. I'm very good with money in real life. It's, it's true. I just, I've entered the level of tiredness <laughs> where I give slightly less of a fuck in the game right now. And that leads to driving fast. I think we had 150, no one. I think at one point we had 150. That car just vanished. That looked like excellent ice cream. Boy, do you just get XP for just driving when you're not having a job? I imagine you get significantly less. But I did see a pop-up before the saying that I got like 50 XP. Hello, Control. Hello, hello. I hope you're well. We are getting there slowly. Very, very slowly. Can you imagine trying to 100% the, the roads in this game? I would hate every moment of that. Half XP per driven distance. Ah, I see. I see. Hello, simulation. Hello, hello. Floor it. I don't really have the road space to do that right now. The achievement is just 60. Even 60% though is really impressive, I think. Loan installation. Oh no, I'm still paying the loan. How much more do you think we have on the loan? Probably a lot. We loaned 100k. Ah, uh, yeah, it's my third time ever playing the game simulation. It's my third time ever playing the game. So yeah, it is a, a very new account. What do I have on the other side of the road? Who? I think the majority of people drive on the, the right side of the road. I think driving on the, the left side is a very small minority of countries. The minority are correct. Okay. If you say so. 
And we're watching the Germans drive on the right, we beat them. Okay, are you saying that justifies you driving on the left? God, you win one battle. It's called the right side for a reason, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like in politics, yeah. <coughs> uh, this is a, uh, a cozy, wholesome stream, so we just like not ever bring up the word politics. That would be. <laughs> I can't even say it with straight face. Poop. <laughs> Thank you, no one. I appreciate it. The reason I couldn't finish that sentence was because there's a lot of new people that have been in chat today, and I worry that they would think that I'm serious. <clears throat> Thank you, Sandman. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh... I'm really annoyed. I had an idea for a really good alert the other day while I was walking like so I couldn't write it down. Well, I could, but I didn't. And then by the time I got home, I forgot about it. No, upset. Texting while driving. I don't think that's a good idea. I think people tell you not to do that for a reason. Why didn't I write it down? Because I was walking Link and I was like, oh, I, sh I will remember this. See, this is why I usually write things down, but I, I had a moment of weakness. Imagine bracing your driving habits on a millennia old barbaric tradition of trying to kill each other. Yeah, fucking imagine. Ah, uh, yeah, Sandman. I The next community server that we set up is going to be Ark. It'll likely not be for a little while, because we still have the Minecraft server for now, and then Alice is doing the Rust server in October. And I don't want to have like any overlap with the new server, with the Rust server, because... I like to play Rust. So... That'll probably be... Maybe around Christmas? I don't know. But yes, I definitely have plans for an ARC server. Definitely. What other games do I like? I don't understand why that's a hard question for me, but it is. <laughs> Whenever people are like, so what games do you play? I don't know, I've never played a video game in my life. I've never, I have no games. Um, I play, we're in Norway! Not up yet, not fun, sorry. No, I play most things. Um, I love horror games. There aren't that many good ones anymore, but... Um... Over Games Toilet Chronicles. <laughs> um... Oh, I was thinking about what the next game, like, longer game that I was gonna play was soon. Forgot about it. <laughs> uh, I love roguelites. I've been playing Across the Obelisk since yesterday, which I really enjoyed. Does this feel like Norway? No. It, this feels like generic Europe. This right here feels like just generic Europe. I didn't finish Doom Eternal. I, I want to go back to Doom Eternal. I want to beat it. I don't want that to be one of the games that I never beat. But I think I'll have to like practice a little bit off stream just to like remember the game again. Because I was really stupid. And when I left off, we were in the middle of a boss fight. So if I start Doom Eternal now, we load into a boss fight. Which isn't ideal. How long have we been streaming? Today or in total? Like management games? <laughs> For those who missed it, I have accepted a sponsorship for a stream 
of FIFA 23. We're gonna make an event out of it. We're gonna make it into a really fun stream. It's something completely different from anything that I ever play. One sport show you intend to avoid. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I... Wrong way. But I accepted this sponsorship because it's decent money. And honestly, I think we can have a lot of fun with it. So that's why I accepted it. And then we'll just have fun. The offside by 20 something in each other. <laughs> no, I have a lot of ideas. I have a lot of ideas for fun things that we're gonna do for that stream. We're gonna we're gonna make an event out of it. We're gonna make it into a fun thing. Um they pay decent money and I genuinely think that we can have fun. It's not the kind of game that I would typically play, but we'll have fun. Mod work. I might have to add another mod work to you. Uh, it'll be the last weekend of the month. The last weekend of uh, oh, this month. There's a map of your country for your tech simulator too. That has your city. Oh shit, nice. For the more fun. <laughs> no, the last person I modded was dude and. I like dude. He's pretty cool. He's not my worst modding mistake. South is alright too. You know, those those were my two last mods and I I don't have complaints about them. We don't talk about the people who came before them. <laughs> Aren't they my only mods? No, Carl was around sometimes. But he's my ex-boyfriend, so he is special. You can't handle the stress now, that's fair. Wonder who the mistake was. <laughs> oh yeah, technically the last person I modded was Romeo. <laughs> technically the last person I modded was Romeo. If I mod you, you may or may not abuse it. I don't think we're gonna have that issue, Tails. I, I don't- I don't- I don't think that will be an issue. Hey, it's a toll booth! No, I... <laughs> it was a mistake, okay? <laughs> it was a mistake. I don't know what Bruce Brothers... No, it's a movie, isn't it? People have been referencing... No, I'm using my brakes. <laughs> I am. I'm using my brakes properly. Like, this is full power brake. Why am I <laughs> I don't have any cargo with me and I reached the point of the night where I don't care anymore. So I'm just flooring it. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Mods don't have to watch the stream anymore more than any other stream uh, any other viewer does no you think any streamer any streamer who demands that their mods are always in chat either needs to pay their mods or get the fuck over themselves <laughs> hit it not me wait what who are you talking to what is happening Hi, Gore! Hello, hello! What does not seem to be entering a roundabout? I was told when I took driving lessons that it is helpful to signal when going into a roundabout as well as out of it. And I would rather over signal than not signal. Uh. 
You squirted white, sticky white stuff on your keyboard. Yeah, you would. I hope you can get it clean all right. Look how pretty this is. Wait, where are we right now? Oh. I can't believe I just called Oslo pretty. It's embarrassing. It is pretty though. Not this part, this part. Uh, no, Gore. I bought the steering wheel outside of this. I bought that separately. I appreciate that, Tails. Thank you. It, just <laughs> it feels a little bit like Norway now, yeah. I think that seeing the signs that I've seen several times in real life probably helps. feels familiar, you know? It'll feel more like Norway once we see the mountains. See, I associate Norway with either a coastline or mountains. That's like my associations with, um, with Norway. I get uncomfortable if I don't see either the ocean or a mountain. I like to see at least one of them. Thanks for hanging out, Tails. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good one. Didn't we sleep like six hours ago? 90% of nerve experience tunnel. Yeah. Oh, look, the mountains! Ah, oh, that feels better. Yeah, I get like weird claustrophobia if I don't see any mountains, if it's too flat. Even just like hills, it doesn't have to be proper mountains, but just like seeing some kind of height. I use that to navigate in my room. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. This is pretty though. No, it's not a girl phobia, I don't think. Oh. Flop is just this. I don't know what that means. You're fine at sea. Mm. Yeah, I like seeing either the ocean or mountains. See, that's the train that I was talking about. That's the train that goes, um, that they did the TV show out of. Which was just like 16 hours of watching a train go from one side of the country to another. Fuck yourself. You live in a landlocked country. I would feel- I, I would never live not by the sea. I don't know what's like not to be like near the sea. Like literally my entire life. Even going on like vacation and traveling. I don't think I've ever been further than a couple of kilometers away from the sea. So yeah, I'm very I'm very comfortable being like near near the coast. I prefer that. You live in a valley, you're probably aware of being flatlands, yeah. Like people say that the ocean smells a particular way, and I realized that I'd never been far enough from the ocean to come back to the ocean and, like, notice that it smells a particular way. You know? Oh, 
Oh, this is pretty. Mountains! No, I believe you. It's just, that's just the normal spell for me. <laughs> Yeah, right, Seal? I wonder if you smell unless the wind blows a certain way. That's fair. Like, I don't take advantage of the fact that I... I've never taken advantage of the fact that I live close to, like, the ocean. Uh, aside from when I was a kid. So, it's not like I would miss anything. It's just... It's kind of this comfort thing for me, I think, being near the ocean. Because I've always been near the ocean. You know? Ironically, I have a crippling fear of the ocean. <laughs> Unironically, I'm fucking terrified of the ocean. <laughs> Hello fish, hello, hello. I did used to live on a boat, yeah. Why do you think I have a phobia of the ocean? This is so nice. But I think that my issue with this game it's not, it's just the one road. Go, go, unicorn, go. This is from Will You Snail. But yeah, I think my issue is that there's only the one road. I can't go to any of the side paths or anything like that. And I wish I could. I wish I could just like go on a little hike, you know? And I think that that's one of the things that I dislike about this game is that you don't really have any like that much choice as to what road you take. And that gets a little bit boring. Are you trying to pass me? In a corner? It is a transport sim and auto road sim, that is true. I should try Microsoft Flight Sim. I might! No! God, the snail music is so fucking good. Oh my god! This is just like driving on a Norwegian road! Christ! I have no clue, Gore. No clue at all. That is true, Pierce. <laughs> that is true, but it would be really nice for exploring. It would be really great for exploring, I think. Like, oh. especially like places like this, I think it would be really cool. Or just cities, but I understand that the cities are very small. Oh, you can switch off the. Yeah, I think I'll do that because it's. Like, right now, this isn't really for gameplay, this is just for, I want to drive to this location because we haven't been there. 
Detours. Oh, that's like road events and stuff. Okay, fair enough. Um, truck settings, cam settings. Where was that? Fatigue simulation. I did notice, yeah. You can go... We're going the, the top mountain part and then you can go this way too, which I like. But I wish there was more of that. Just in general. Does it really seal? I'll have to see like which DLCs I need for that. Because it does sound like it just makes the game better. I just think that like one of my complaints about this game has always been that the driving parts are so uninteresting to me. Because none of the roads are special. You drive on the same roads over and over and... Once you've driven on a road, you've driven on the road. And it's just gonna be like it becomes very repetitive and that's been my issue with this game that's why i don't understand how people can stream this game as like a very regular thing <laughs> sandman what the fuck did you just do i will refund these i will literally refund these fuck me those are pretty Look at the upcoming map. Like, this is a Norwegian road in a nutshell. Wait, can I actually stop here? <laughs> I probably can. Wait, is this one of those uh, vista places? No, this is a sleeping spot. Okay. I haven't seen another vista since that one that we did. This would be a perfect place for it. Ooh. Shit, fuck. They didn't need those anyway. A tunnel with a roundabout inside it, then it goes straight on through bridge straight into another tunnel with a roundabout in it. We do like our roundabouts, it is true. How much trash do they generate in a day anyway? Oh, look how pretty it is. Can you tell that I have a thing for mountains? So much cream. What are you doing? What are you, literally, what activity are you doing? Hey, Spooge, hello, hello. Yeah, I am. We're doing one final drive before ending today. Plenty but none in bin, yeah, that's fair. Squirted so soon. Mm. You would. Mikey, the mountain did you have a good nap? How how did you sleep? The mountains are so pretty, Mikey. No, I'm not pulling a load right now. It's just me. I'm just having a solo run on my own. Just for some self satisfaction. I mean, yeah, I like roundabouts. I don't get countries that don't do roundabouts. Oh, look at this! I want to get out and just look at the mountains. If I hang out for a little while, just stare at them. Thing is, if you've never seen mountains, I know that I gush a lot about mountains, <laughs> but if you've never seen mountains like these in real life, 
it's hard to express just how amazing they are to watch in real life. Like, they genuinely look much, much better in real life than pretty much any photo. No reason 100% cheating. It's outrageous how pretty, like, fjords and mountains. Oh, it's so fucking pretty. I'm so good. What do you mean? I'm not talking shit. Anyone who's seen them in real life can confirm. No, what I mean, like in pictures. I'm just gonna go. There's no one here. If you see a picture of the fjords, they look even nicer in real life. That's what I'm saying. You live in a mountain. That's awesome. That sounds very cool. Too many traffic lights in American Truck Simulator? Yeah. There haven't been that many traffic lights in this. Like, obviously there are traffic lights, but... I feel like they're mostly roundabouts. afterwards later <laughs> yeah this is my PTSD music yeah <laughs> this, it's so fucking good though it's so fucking good despite it being literally my PTSD music it is one of my favorite songs on the soundtrack It's the tunnel roundabout. The mythical tunnel roundabout. Yeah. This is a credit cross, is it? Are you sure? Hello, full sec. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm. It's late and I'm very tired and so I kind of stopped caring a little bit. I just want to get to this location because I haven't been there. I just want to get there and so yeah, I'm <laughs> caring a little bit less about driving properly right now than I usually do. This is really cool, yeah. I turned off fatigue, so we don't need to sleep. It's only temporary. Once we go back to playing it regularly, I'll turn fatigue back on again. Another roundabout now. Is it? Can't even tell. Yes. It is 2.30 for me, yes. The world's, world's longest tunnel to bridge to tunnel bridge. <laughs> yeah, no one can stop us in that record. I just want to make it to the location, then we're gonna wrap up. Mikey, did you ever play this? I don't remember. I know I've never seen you with a, a steering wheel. But did you ever play it? Yeah, this is the auto pass, isn't it? You have no desire to. This is very fair. I do not blame you. I like it for a chill, just like listening to music and chatting with people game, but. What seal? What? What? Oh. 
SnowRunner. One day I'll play SnowRunner. I've heard it plays well with a, a wheel as well. And it has multiplayer. Exactly, Sarah. Exactly. You play multiplayer. Could this be one of the rare occasions that I managed to lure Mikey into playing a game with me? Imagine. I will make note of this. I will remember this. Make a convoy. I a lot of people have been saying this, and I <laughs> I will be perfectly honest. I'm not sure I get like the full appeal of doing a convoy. Do you just like drive together? I just I don't know how much <laughs> like how much you do other than just driving along the same road. Creators face reversing scale. I've gotten good at reversing now. I have reversing under control now, I think. This is really pretty too. Super pretty. That is fair, Sandman. Why don't we just live in barns? We don't. We just like the barn aesthetic. It reminds us of simpler times. Dismantling a duck. Okay. Have we got a mouse feel off the pass without the oblique? <laughs> Sorry, navigating. You're like 20 minutes late, Romeo. Get it together. Yeah, I noticed that they're flashing me. But the way that I see it, we're about to have to turn our lights back on again. So I might as well just leave them on, you know? But I have noticed it, yeah. Wait, is this a place that I can get jobs? That's what I'm talking Oh, we're here! Oh. <laughs> I see. So this is a place we can get jobs. If I go here, like, can I, like, mark that as a place? Officially? This doesn't look that bad, though. I feel like we should be able to get back from here. No. Hey, we made it! Nine 
19,000. Fuck off, Alex. I had a mission, okay? I had a mission to do. And I'm doing it before ending my stream. This is from, um, A Hat in Time, right? To increase speed as the song goes, I can't do that. I can't do that. Take a right instead of a left, okay. Sure. Ah, this is to the city center, I see. I can't just continuously increase my speed though. Fuck off. Oh! Yeah, because I, I enabled that when I got stuck. I usually do. I don't know what that means, Pierce. The truck horn thing. Yes. Yeah, I wonder if you can upgrade the, the horn. I imagine you can. I imagine you can. Orcus, you made so much progress. You're gonna be. <laughs> remember you when you were totally gonna beat it that stream like a week ago? You remember that? I remember a week ago when you were totally gonna beat it on that stream? I remember. Hey, look, it's the the cruise ships. Did you? Did you find the mechanic? Did, did you get the, the thing? You'll know it if you have it. You'll know it if you figured it out. Did you figure out the thing? You don't think so. You're not beating it this time. <laughs> You're not beating it anytime soon. Oh, bless. Yeah, you would have known it. You would have known it. The horn in the outside, dude. Can you do that? Does that make a difference? We did it. <laughs> it's lame when you leave them alone. Unironically, though. Unironically, that's what he sounds like, except with more screaming and crying and hysterical panic. This is what I wanted to do today. We wanted to go here because we wanted to see the mountains. The mountains, Gandalf. The mountains. Oh. The city is underwhelming, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> this is Hat in Time, yeah. This is from uh, the train. The train rush. That was one of my favorite levels of the game. That and the movie studio. The movie studio is so good, and the music from the movie studio is so fucking good. Those trucks don't drive through city centers, yeah, no. I don't want to drive through any city center. Generation Zero, which is set in Sweden. Go fuck yourself, Romeo. How many times have I said that today? Have you been worse than normal, or am I irritable? Or both. I actually have a really bad headache. I only noticed that in the last like 10 minutes. I have such a bad headache. My posture cannot possibly have anything to do with Fuck that. Fuck you! Exactly. <laughs> 
Clark Q, the PTSD music. Do you know the name of it? Do you know specifically the name of it, Alice? Thank you for the bits, Romeo. Appreciate it. Do you know specifically the name of it that I can put it on? this make this right? I have no idea. I I know nothing. Okay! I'm gonna end exit! Quit! Yeah. Ugh, the one I played is the lady you can end the game at. The star. Okay, hang on. The star. I don't have a song called The Star. Star? I don't have a song called The Star. Did I not put the entire soundtrack on? Hang on. Fury soundtrack. It's called My Only Chance. Why is it two different names? Oh, it's so fucking good. <laughs> this is- this is not a song. What do you mean? No, I'm pretty sure this is a song. This is called My Only Chance. Danger. There are four songs no, called Danger. Which Danger? There are four songs called Danger with different numbers. Let's try one. Five, actually. It might be one of the best game soundtracks. <laughs> the wheel is in the way. I have terrible recognition anything, Alice. You know this. You watched shows with me. You know that I never recognize anything. <laughs> I wanted to listen to them. They're good music. Good music. Oh. None of them have actual names. It's so annoying. They're called Danger 624, Danger 753, 802, 1906, and 1907. It's so annoying. Have a good night, Pierce. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. I hope you sleep well. Thank you for being here. They're not the durations, no. <laughs> <laughs> They're literally not the duration. They're not. <laughs> they are not the duration. Last two are the more dramatic ones, yeah. Okay. So 1906 and 1907. But they're the short ones. 
Yeah, eat or choose the upbeat one. Are you sure these are more dramatic ones? Or are you talking about... Is there one called Danger? No. Oh, Danger Danger. Why didn't that show up on this list? That didn't show up in VLC. Okay, so this is Danger Danger. No, this is 624. This is Danger 624. <laughs> it's called Danger Danger on the soundtrack, but this is Danger 624. I wanna go to bed. No, I don't. I don't wanna go to bed. I wanna go to bed. Yeah, this was the first one that we did. The tattoo on my arm. Um, this one, the one that is visible. So you can ask about this one, not the other one. <laughs> it is a oh god, it's difficult to show off. It's just a, a vase of flowers. It's it's literally just a, a pretty pretty vase of flowers. That's it. There's no thought or meaning behind it. It was just it was pretty. <laughs> literally, it was just a flashed art tattoo that was pretty. So, I thought about it for two hours, and then I went for it. <laughs> no, I thought you referred to this one. <sighs> we don't talk about that one. Um, a Witcher Wolf Pendant. Oh yeah, no, no it isn't. Um, no. I love the Witcher though. That's Care Moran. That right there. That's a, a print from Care Moran. I'd like to replay The Witcher 3 at one point. At some point, I'd like to do that. Uh, we might, someday. That story! 50% off Steam this week, you little shit! <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> It's really funny. It's my Twitter anniversary! Oh, fuck. Oh. Looks like poop. Smells like poop. <laughs> Thank you, Noah. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. I'm gonna find something to rate. I'm gonna eat. I want food. Poop. <sighs> Thank you for the bits, Sandman. I appreciate it. Um, tomorrow! Ooh! Okay, I can't know if you're gonna wait. Tomorrow! We're probably doing First Class Trouble. It's Tuesday. So we're probably doing First Class Trouble. I don't know what we're doing afterwards. I don't know. We'll see. Something, probably. There was a lot of good. Yeah, I'm trying to associate it with good times. and No, I'm trying to associate it with the fact that we raised over $100,000 for charity. That's what I want that association to be. Um, we raised well over $100,000 for charity and that's the thing that I'm trying to remember. <sighs> yeah. When I, um, I, last Christmas, I spent with my, my parents, and it was the last time I saw my grandma. Uh, she didn't understand, like, streaming or anything like that, so we didn't bother trying to explain that to her. But we told her about the charity stuff, and she was very proud of me. And that's, that was the last time I met her, and yeah, made me feel good. So, yeah. We're gonna go raid someone. Jesus, I'm so I'm so tired. I have such a bad headache. I'm just gonna we're just gonna go raid someone. We're gonna go raid Greg. 
Um, I don't know, Greg. <laughs> I don't know, Greg. But about a week ago, I got roped into a voice call with him and a couple of other people, and he was asked if he wanted to be my friend, and he said, who the fuck is Twiggy? That's <laughs> the only interaction I've had with Greg. <laughs> so please ask him if he wants to be- I actually followed- I followed all of them, Alice. <laughs> I followed all of them. You haven't even followed Orkish. I have been talking you up to Orkish so much. You have no fucking idea. I've only been saying good things about you. But please... <laughs> please go ask Greg if he wants to be my friend. <laughs> he hasn't followed you. Orkish, if you're listening to this, can you please go follow Alice so he feels a little bit less insecure about everyone hating him? Thank you. Um, <laughs> well, um, never <laughs> stop BBC Scientologist. No, I won't. But Greg, I I know nothing about him. But we have we have new friends in common, so he's probably all right. He's probably all right. Um, but yes, <laughs> ask him if he wants to be my friend. That would be lovely. Thank you. Um, we have to. No, he streamed today. Hang on. No, Alice, he streamed today. He's alright. He's physically alright. Um, <laughs> he's setting up a fucking tournament. I wasn't invited to this tournament because he thought that I would take it too seriously. Because the whole point is they're doing a Warhammer 3 Total War whatever tournament. The one that I had a sponsorship for. And the premise is that it's only people who are the opposite of competitive. So, they haven't played the game before or anything like that. Then fucking Brad streams the game for six hours today. <laughs> to warm up and to prep for it. I wasn't invited because I was too competitive and he streams it for an entire day to practice. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the alternative to streaming is fighting sharp objects. Yeah, no, it's better that he streams. It's better that he streams. I just thought it was funny that I was disqualified from participating because I'm too competitive, apparently. And then he practices for like several hours a day. Um, so yeah, that's a thing that they're doing. I don't know when that is. I think it was one of these, I don't know. Let's go say hi to Greg! Make sure that he becomes my friend. I need more friends. I'm very lonely. Um, so that would be great. Thank you. I'll be back tomorrow, probably with some first class trouble, and then something else, and then <laughs> we'll see. We'll see where life takes us, or something like that. I'm gonna go. I'm sorry. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are not mistaken, Sarah. That is basically what they are. How to work on the competitiveness. Yeah, I, I will. I will. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you for spending your time here. It means a lot. I hope we have a fantastic rest of your night. Have a fantastic day tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Good night, everyone.